want to be submissive to a man and follow his lead, but that doesn't mean that I shouldn't have any input that should be fairly considered in big decisions. Does negotiation and compromise have a place in relationship? How does that fit into absolute submission? Andrew probably would like to have a back and forth with you on this one. Um, it, and can I add something to that? Sure. Um, because this is something that we talked about earlier. What if I'm the primary income earner in a relationship? And maybe that's not ideal, but when it comes to abs, if if I was the if I was more of the provider, would the expectation of the role change? Like, or would I be expected to relinquish all of my income to the man to make decisions if with it? I yes, you you would, yeah. and if, I'll explain why. I'll I, one just thing die alone. First, <laughs> if I were to start dating Kylie Jenner, yeah, she's gonna listen to me. <laughs> um. <laughs> I will. I will explain Anyways. my rationale before you say you want to die alone. Yeah, right. yeah. I, I and I, I, I like hearing your yeah, point of view. Yeah, let's start. Let's start with this. If you had to put a value on on something, what is the most valuable thing you can think of? The most valuable thing you could ever envision, the thing which, if it's taken away, can never be gotten back. I would say I would say life. Life, okay. I'd say life. Would you disagree with that? No, you can never get that back. Yeah, right. Once it's taken, you can yeah. never get it back. Yeah. A man's obligation is to die on your behalf. So if there's a threat or a danger to you, his job's to die before you die. You cannot replace that. So he cannot be replaced by anything else because his job's to sacrifice himself for you. So yeah, you give up the money, and you give up the control, you give up the power, but the exchange to all of that is that when the lifeboats go off of the Titanic, who gets in them first? Who gets in them first? Women and children. Yeah, women and children. So if the man is to be the sacrifice for you, he gives his life for you, then why is it problematic for you to turn over the dominance in a relationship to him? I don't want to be the dominant, but especially if I'm the breadwinner, I would want significant consideration yeah, die for, for my... Women don't die for men, ever. They don't ever die for men. Men die for women all the time, nonstop. Women do not sacrifice their lives for men. You can't show me a historic standard anywhere where that's ever happened. They don't do it. There may be some exceptions where some woman has done self-sacrifice on behalf of a man for her life versus his. Essentially, it never happens. I mean, for all practical purposes, men are always the ones who give up their lives on behalf of women and children. Their actual life. Now, uh, you can make an argument that, well, a woman gives up her life over years of time and blah, 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 but that would apply to men too. Men That's actually time. lay their lives down, defense of you, defense of the nation, defense of your home, defense of your honor, defense of your pride, defense of your name. They lay their lives down for everything. Here's an example of this, right? I just want to ask the panel, and we can ask the entire panel this question, and I think that through this, we'll be able to reason this out. If a man who you are with, you're walking down the street, and another man insults your honor, do you think that it's appropriate, and would you want the man that you're with to protect your honor? Meaning, if, uh, if a man you're with, you're walking down the street arm in arm, and another guy comes by and pinches your ass, don't you prefer that your man turns around and smacks him across the mouth, raise a hand? Yeah, that's right. That's right. And I have when does an that anecdote happen? about and, this, and, and hang on, when does that happen in reverse? Not often. So the thing is, is that men are always there putting, now, by the way, a physical confrontation with another man doing that on your behalf leads to death. It leads to death for men. Just protecting your honor leads to death for men all the time. In fact, more men in the United States are killed with feet and hands than they are with AR-15s because this is such a happenstance. It happens so often that men engage in physical combat with each other, often on behalf of women's honor. This does not happen in reverse. So since that is the case, yeah, give up your money. Yeah, give up your money, give up your control, because that's what you get in exchange. We don't get that in exchange. Who's dying for us, not you? 
Not women. Women aren't dying for men. Show me where women are collectively dying for men. Anywhere. Ever. Nowhere. Nowhere. Go ahead. I'm waiting. I want to hear Not an giving birth to their when child. Collectively, when collectively can you guys name that women have ever died on behalf of men? Childbirth. Laid their lives down on behalf of men. Give me childbirth. No, they don't do it. During childbirth, they're not doing it on behalf of men. They're doing it on behalf of their children. They're doing it on behalf of the Um, I think children. women are doing it on behalf of the baby that their man put inside of them. So I yeah, would so argue the baby, that they are doing yes, it for men. Baby, and a man is and not now, physically now capable do of that. doing that. Now they kill their children. Now they kill them. They don't even bother having them anymore. Okay, we, nobody so was talking thing. about that. Yeah, isn't, but we are talking about that. Isn't you half say, of the babies you masculine? Say that you saying that you will birth your child. You're not doing that on behalf of your man. That's insanity. But a child can um, be a man as well, right? I think what? it means like, like you're a man, like okay. your, your partner. You're yeah, we're talking about somebody who is doing the thing for the purpose of the protection of X thing. Men lay their lives down and the historic standard that I can appeal to is that men collectively always lay their lives down for women and so children. So protecting your the baby? Hang on, stop, stop, Sorry. let me finish. The reverse never happens. Point to me where the reverse ever happens. Okay, so protecting your baby by giving childbirth isn't enough. I don't even know what that means. What does that even mean? So a or not, it's, it's the same? It's not protecting no, your it's child not the same. if you give but you're, birth. But if you're bearing, you're bearing your child, you're not doing that on behalf of your man. You're doing that on behalf of you and the child. Yeah. So a child can be a man as well, right? No, a child's not a man. No. <laughs> what? 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 That would be a boy. <laughs> Masculine then. I think that's just like a women's role, though, that men are not capable of. So I mean, you are doing it on behalf of your joint couple as a woman and you are risking no, your life men are expected to do this for strangers children and strangers women otherwise we would not have the lifeboat analogy would we i think it's also kind of like a dangerous thing though i think because... yeah, like you should answer to what i actually just said which is why do we have the lifeboat analogy that women and children get on the oh, i'm not disagreeing first? with it's you not my, that's, those aren't my women and my children why do they get on the lifeboats first i'm not disagreeing with you that that's a man's role but i'm just saying that i do think that a woman going through childbirth is an example of her doing something that's risking her life on behalf of a man they're not doing it on behalf of men. Demonstrate you're doing it on behalf doing of your husband. Man. You're doing it on behalf of your husband who put the child inside no, of you. No, you're not doing it. First of all, most childbirths are not even done anymore by the husband. Why? Half these chicks get knocked up by some random guy they never even talked to again. How Why? are you doing on behalf of men? Why do women and children get in the lifeboat? Because men have always been sacrificial lambs on behalf of other men and women and children. Because you're the weaker sexes and you both, <laughs> both women and children. Look, you laugh. How am I wrong? Are, I'm sorry, sexes. are women the stronger or weaker sex? Does it have anything to do with women and children can inform the future more so than men? Like w children no. can grow up to be How men so? to one sacrifice man, and women. One man can... can repopulate against 50 women, but women are limited to only being able to be pregnant from one man at a time. Yes, so but no, there have that to argument be women. makes no sense either. But there have to be the women. The truth is, is that a one single man could repopulate the earth. One woman could not. One single man could repopulate the entire planet Earth. As long as Every there were single women day, there. You could screw a different chick and impregnate her. A woman cannot do that. But so that's no, why we need each women, other. When you talk about the necessity of the future, a single woman could not be necessary to the future, whereas a single man could be. Yeah, I agree that men and women should be on earth. <laughs> Both of them. Oh, uh, well, I mean, that's yeah. great. What a great argument. I also yeah. agree that they deserve to be on earth. Yeah, men are stronger, but argument. they need women and, and women need men. I agree that the whatever podcast studio should have windows. I mean, I, I don't know what, yeah, what the hell you're Yeah, I agree as well. About, yeah, so. we, we both know, need each other, right? Yes. So what... Yeah, well, yeah, okay, but this has nothing to do with my argument. This has nothing to do with my argument. Oh, but you can have the so argument. So here's my argument. You... Ready? I'm going to tell you my argument again because you just don't seem to understand it, right? Men collectively lay their lives down for women. Women collectively do not lay their lives what down What about for women. women in the military? What about them? 
Are they are not lying? I'm sorry. Do you think that the military is made up of mostly men or women? No, no, no. I'm just speaking about these specific women in the military. Mm -hmm. Who are they like? What is what is what do you think the word collectively means? I'm asking you a question, Andrew. And I'm asking you women in the military. Women in the military. Restate my argument. I'm restating my question. Yeah. Women (laughs) in the military. I need you to contend with the (laughs) argument. Okay. First. Can you restate okay. my argument? This has nothing first? to do with what I'm talking about. Can you restate my argument? Your argument is that women do not lay their lives down for men. Wait, women in the, the military have signed no, up to. That's not my argument. You're lying yes, to Yes, the collective group of collective women in the military. Mean? Collectively, the group what of them. The group, what does the word collective mean? The group of women in the military, that would be the collective of women in the military, are laying their lives the down. That is no, a collective a of third. women. Okay, so so just to get this right, just get this right. I just want to make sure that 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 we're correct here. Let's let let's us assume make sure. for a second that if we're looking at all the prisons in the United States with prison guards, and you have one prison that has more female guards than men, but all the other prisons have more male guards than they do women. When you say the word, who collectively make up the most amount of prison guards? Okay, the majority. You would say, you would say well, yes, it's men, except in this one prison. Who gives a shit? It has no, no bearing on the argument at all. Okay, so women in the military are not laying their lives down for men. They're no, only laying exactly their lives not. down for American exactly women. Not. I'll tell you what. Give me a war. Name any war you want, and I'm going to tell you the combat deaths of women in that war from being in the let's military. Speak in <laughs> let's present, speak in present any, times. Let's speak in present times. Any present war. Any There's, present war. I'm talking about present wars that we I'm are... I'm talking about present wars, too. Okay. Any present war... And okay, I think that you're just upset that, that I, I disproved your point, and it's I agree. okay. No, you didn't disprove I agree. It it's Give okay. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. The women lay their lives down for men, too. It's okay. You're still talking. Can you answer my question? Can you give me a present war, and I'll give you the deaths, the military deaths... But there's not an equal number of men and women in the military or a majority of women in the military. So, of course, there's going to be more men who die. If you put more men out to die, more men will die. Then we can do it per capita, right? So we can take the percentage of women who are in the military who die versus the percentage of men. But are there women in the military dying on behalf of men? Yes or no? Yeah, we can just do that by per capita, right? Okay. We can just do okay. it per capita? Okay. No, I'm asking you, are there women in the military who are dying yes, on behalf some, of there men? Some women, there are some women who die in the military, yes. Okay, on behalf of men. That would not show that the collective of women are willing okay. to die on behalf of men. I can demonstrate <laughs> Well, I think that when, when the military is 50-50, let's revisit this conversation, and then I guess no, that let's will... Revi- let's visit it right now. We have let's visited visit it, it and I think you don't want to visit <laughs> it anymore. <laughs> I'm, I want to visit it right this second. I, I've been visited it. <laughs> I've been visited okay, great, it, and I great. told you that women... Me, <laughs> give me a war in modernity, any war, in fact, that you want, and I will give you the combat deaths of women in that war. And we'll match But let's look at the military enrollment of finish. women. It's not let the same. Let me finish. Let me finish. I think currently we're in war with him. So let me finish so that you can understand my point. Right. I will take the per capita deaths of women in that war, the percentage, and we'll match them towards men in the same role. Who do you think dies more? Okay, yeah, but are women assigned the same combat roles as men yes, in I'm these get, wars? That's what I just said. You're not even listening. So one no, more but time. No, but I'm saying women are willing to do those roles are they assigned like to them talking, though it's like talking to a brick wall you don't even understand what i'm saying i, I do understand so what I'm, you're saying you're saying you per stop, capita you, death so like stop per- talking i can give you the argument okay, and go, ahead, you can go, respond. Ahead, go ahead go ahead okay <laughs> i will take all of the combat roles of women all of them match them against all the combat roles of men in the same exact capacity and then we can see who dies more in those capacities well, in combat maybe women are just stop, smarter stop, that's why they don't get killed let me get the argument Ooh. out you're already freaking out i can't even get the argument you're very calm out. yeah okay so anyway <laughs> i will take all of the combat deaths match it against the percentage of women in those roles versus men and then we can determine per capita how many women in the same exact role die versus men Okay. Which one do you think dies more in the role versus the percentage of them okay. in that role? Can I respond, Andrew? Yes. I think you just proved that women do the job better and don't get killed. Ooh, I don't know. What? You're proving what? that women have what? done the job better and are not getting killed. <laughs> what? That's a joke <laughs> no. I mean, I isn't mean, that what proved you just proved? That you're dumb as a box of fucking rocks. <laughs> 
Is that not what you just proved, though? That no. if women and men are doing no. the same combat roles and men are no. dying at a higher rate than the women doing the roles, clearly these roles should only be assigned to women then. It's because men and the women way are that not they assign the them, same role, it's the way so. that they assign them in combat, right? The women are still given a lesser job even in the combat that's roles. what i just said before that though i said that women are not assigned the same roles you said let's talk it, about a, men and women listen, in the same roles but that's listen, not that's not how i don't, the, I don't know why i don't know why you like don't that. understand this you can be infantry and a woman you can be assigned the role of infantry and a woman you can even be sent to the nation as infantry as a woman right <clears> and with the, the male infantry that is the same job allocation However, still those assignments are going to be less rigorous on behalf of women because of capability. Yes, the percentage of women because of assumed combat. capability. No, no. So, um, hi, I'm Elizabeth. I'm prior service military. <laughs> I served in the army, and my husband's active duty army. Thank you. He's okay. in the infantry. Thank you. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> um, I would say that women are not dying in the same amount as men, but I also would say even if they are in an 11 Bravo slot for infantry, they're not doing the same tasks as men. And they whether can't. it be from assignment, they, 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 it's, they, they can't. can't. Do you think it's because they're not capable of doing those? Yeah, I not believe that they're they not capable do of doing some of the roles that men do in the military as a they woman who served in the military. They literally are incapable physically of doing those jobs as an 11 Bravo, or as a 13 Bravo, or mm -hmm. as a 19 Delta, or as, I mean, whatever combat role you want to assign it to, it doesn't matter. It's not because women are doing them better. It's because they're incapable of doing most of these jobs, even when they're in the position of doing them. That makes my Physically. argument not yours. Physically. Physically, they can't do it. Mm -hmm. Yes, my, my little comment to that would be that I have done enough of the research um, about my own country and what's happening, and there is no such thing as physical equality when it comes to men and women. Right. We're different no, physically, not. and... Uh, even That's why though, they're drafting old men in the Ukraine. They're not drafting young women. Yeah, this is, this is an incredibly heartbreaking topic, but of course there are thousands hundreds of thousands of women in Ukraine that are committing to to protecting our country right now but it would be insane of me to say that they are physically capable of everything that the men do but of course we we can be eternally gra grateful for everything that both of the genders are doing for us it's just they can't be physically as capable as the man. But I think to, to revisit the heart of the, the conversation, Andrew, was that is there any example of women laying their life on the line for men? Yeah, and but this has already I, been determined as being true. Yes. You just, are, but your whole point so was that it wasn't true. What, is the word, what does the word collective mean? What does it mean? Okay. Okay. What does the word collective mean? Can you tell me what the word collective means? Yes, so I, I just want to make sure that you got the I argument it down. I got it down. Hmm? What, what does the word collective mean? The word collective is the majority, the group, all of the, the women, group, yeah. all of the Great. men. Great. Gotcha. So, so when I say, literally say to you, yes, there are examples of women laying their lives down for men. That's not in dispute here. Right, it's never been in dispute, it's never even been a part of my argument. It was yielded immediately, right away, the second you said it, I conceded to it, has nothing to do with my argument. My argument's about the collective. Collectively, men lay their lives down for women. Collectively, women do not lay their lives down for men. If you can give me an example where collectively women do that, I can't wait to hear it. Okay. I do think though that there is a place for women in the military, and they there sure. is roles where yeah, women will go paychecks. on deployment. The roles to sign well, paychecks. Well, no, I mean, so. there's other positions that military that women have in the military, like me. I was 88 Mike, which is a truck driver. So you were a truck driver. Right, right. So it's not yeah, just we used, admin we used jobs. To fuck with people, we'd say, go get us a Mike 88. Right, that's what you'd say, new people. Yeah, but it's Mike not just admin us, payroll right? clerk jobs, and there's plenty <laughs> of men carrying those payroll clerk jobs as well. <clears throat> Yeah, but they're not deploying 88 mics who are females into combat zones. Yes, they do. That's yeah, how Jessica only, Lynch got. They have massive. That's how Jessica mics. Lynch got abducted in OIF one. Is she yeah. was an 88 mic overseas in the Gulf? Because it or was the, the first war. time that they didn't send out a, a huge MP escort with the mic 88s. That's why. So well, the thing is, no, it's like, it's, by the way, she wasn't that doing the right thing. My point of why they shouldn't be in, in military combat. I agree. Zone, I agree. Again, she got captured and then they graped her. 
Right. And that was a demoralizing effect on the American military, massive demoralizing effect. She should never have been there. And by the way, I'm going to say this again, and let's see if you can dispute this. If we collectively allowed women into combat zones, the enemy would capture them, they would sexually assault them, and they would send them back to their home countries pregnant. And the reason that they would do that is because it would be the most demoralizing thing they could do. I don't think women should be in combat zones, but that's yeah, not no, saying that they're to what not. I just said. Can you answer to what I, I mean? Just said? I guess, yeah, that's how. Wouldn't you, if you were in charge of a foreign military and they were deploying women into the combat zones and you wanted to demoralize their military, wouldn't you instruct your soldiers to capture those women, essay them, and send them home pregnant? Uh, I don't think I would instruct my soldiers. Yeah, to I don't know that I would them. instruct them to do that. If you wanted to demoralize the enemy, wouldn't you do that? I mean, I, I'm not arguing that they would do that. I mean, they literally throw that's kids they, in front of trucks they with now. bombs on it. them. So I'm not arguing that they would do that. I would not initiate that. If you were in charge of a military and you were fighting a war for protection for your nation, right? It's just like the Japanese instructed their soldiers to kill medics first. And the reason they instructed them to kill medics first is because they wanted the wounded on the battlefield screaming to demoralize the enemy. There is no reason for us to assume that the enemies of the United States, if we deployed women in combat roles to front lines, would not instruct their soldiers to capture them, essay them as publicly as possible, and send the video and pregnant women back to their country of origin in order to demoralize their enemies. But that's a crime of war. They don't care about crimes of war. Well, that's, that's fictitious, yeah. made-up bullshit. Okay, I agree. Do you know agree. who follows, know who follows that, war crimes? The West follows what war crimes are. The enemies of the West don't give a shit. There's no crimes in a war because it's a war. They don't care. They don't care. The Israelis just blew up hundreds of people mm -hmm. in pu public with their pagers. They don't give a shit about war crimes. Nobody cares about war crimes. Nobody cares because it's a war. Okay, but That's a completely feminine thought process that men give a shit about war crimes. They don't what, care. Why does it exist then? Because collectively, countries want to make themselves look really good on paper. They want to look like they're a part of Geneva Conventions. They want to outlaw <laughs> flamethrowers. They change their uniforms all the time. They do all sorts of things. And then in the midst of war, what they'll do is they'll shoot white phosphorus over a spider hole, set people on fire, wait for them to run out so that they can shoot them, which is against the Geneva Convention, and they don't give a fuck. Am yeah. I wrong? You were in the military, you know, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, and they don't get punished do. for it ever? No, they don't care. They don't care. Listen, if you're in a war, your job is to win the war. Mm -hmm. Your job is to kill the enemy with extreme aggression. It's to poison them. It's to stab them while they're sleeping. It's to murder them in any possible way you can think of to do it so that you win. That's warfare. I think you see another kind of news than I do then. You think that because in the civilized world, that we conduct warfare a certain way. The British learned this lesson the hard way. Gentlemen warfare went right out the window the second guerrilla tactics were introduced. So the thing is, is that no, all it takes is one person saying, these rules are stupid, we're gonna throw them out, and we're going to kill the enemy however we see fit. Who's to stop them? They're in a war. What are you gonna do? Come kill them? They're already in a war. <laughs> yeah, there are consequences That's the point, sometimes. they're already in a war, they don't care. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> there are consequences. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like, mm, I don't know, it's okay. <laughs> I don't yeah. know, if you feel like, I, I wanna engage. I, right? I, I feel, I know you wanna engage, but like, I don't, uh, I don't know. I feel like though there is like some kind of consideration for um, maybe not war crimes, but like, like for instance, like nuclear weapons and stuff, there's a reason why that, that doesn't occur, even though it could, you know, so. Yeah, it's because the nuclear armed nations would blast each other into smithereens. Well, so I, I'm aware, warfare. I understand, but I'm just saying, I feel like what your point was that like, people don't give a fuck because they just want to win the war. I feel like people do, to a certain extent. We would use, we would use nukes if we needed to win a war bad enough, we would use them. In fact, in fact, it's it's part of our warfare doctrine. It's, it's part of our warfare doctrine. In fact, soldiers are trained in order to and, and how to sustain their lives in the event of a nuclear detonation for a reason. It's because 
inside of all game theory war plans in the United States, there's always the assumption somebody could use a nuclear bomb. Lucas donated $100. A man's duty to sacrifice his life is so vigorously enforced by society that when the Titanic sank one man survived and spent the rest of his life being called a coward by other men. Fact check me. Hmm. I mean, didn't more than one <laughs> man in the movie. survive from Titanic? <laughs> but thank you, Lucas. Appreciate it, man. We have four more coming through. If you guys want, TTS is 100. Get them in. Thank you, Lucas. Again. Appreciate it, man. Lucas donated $100. What Andrew is talking about is a settled anthropological concept known as male expendability. STF you and learn something. <laughs> no, Thank no, you, no. Lucas, what we should again. do is because women die less in combat because they're incapable of doing combat roles, is then put them in combat roles because they're better at it. That's uh, Woman Logic 101. Thank you. Christine donated $100. Thank you, Christine. Ladies, don't let Andrew win. <laughs> Best thing to do is reframe the question and avoid answering him directly until he gets tired. I like to bring up <laughs> anecdotal <laughs> examples that are long so he tires. I hate men. <laughs> <laughs> I love Christine. All love right. you, Christine. Okay. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, Christine. Uh, that was... <laughs> Thank Lucas you. donated one hundred dollars. Holy shit, red! If you were a first-year associate of my life, and then you said your take on dating, growing up with your father spoiling you, you look for men who provide. You look for a man who provides everything. Yes, I look for a provider. Okay. Uh, elaborate a bit. A provider, like someone who takes care of you, who pays for everything. Like, I know you're talking about the 50-50, if you, you couldn't find a provider. I feel like, to me, it's like, I want someone who can provide for me just like my father did, because that's my expectations in dating. And, you know, someone who will spoil me, but obviously, I'll do my part as well, because there's no, like, you, someone can't just provide for you, and you don't, like expect to do nothing for them in return right and so what would you do for them in return like the like the traditional it might be a little iffy but like i would be a traditional housewife like i don't mind that like i don't so you mind... would quit only fans yes okay. yeah i don't mind like being a traditional housewife taking care of the kids doing my part can you um the microphone's blocking your face a bit are you able to scoot in your chair this way this way? Like, you, are you on the edge of the chair? No. <laughs> or like, okay, then scoot your mic. That works too. That way. works better. Yeah, the mic was just kind of blocking your face. Go okay. ahead. I don't remember what I said. Talking about. Um, would you stop OnlyFans? I would. Yeah. I would stop OnlyFans for someone yeah. like that. But so you said you want a provider. So, but like, you're 18, right? So what's the age group that you're typically dating, or would date? Would date? Yeah. I don't think age matters. Okay. Yeah. But so. Like 80? <laughs> <laughs> That's my grandpa. <laughs> um, What's I, the oldest you would go? Oldest, okay. 28, 28, 30. Okay, got it. 23? Would you, but would you date like another 18 or 19 or 20 year old? No, absolutely not. Okay, because I was gonna say, Probably most 18, 19, 20 year olds are not going to be able to provide for you in the way that you want to be provided. And those are the men in your uh, age group. Yeah. They're probably in college and yes. don't have a lot of disposable income yes. or no disposable income. But uh, okay, so you, uh, you would date a guy who's older than you. Okay. And uh, you also, well, your father spoiled you. Yes. Question Were you born in Canada? I was, yeah. Okay. But I got deported back to China for four years. Oh. Huh? <laughs> you got deported? <laughs> like, not what? like actually deported. Like, I got sent. So my parents gave birth to me and then they sent me back for four years. From zero to four? Yeah. Like, oh, okay. So you don't, you probably don't even remember most of that, right? I do. But 
zero to not the zero but part. like the four year like like some of the three to four i feel like do you guys remember like stuff that like when you were three no she's 18, like i may be though. wrong she's 18 i don't think i'm 19 i don't remember anything. i mean even when you're in your youth typically you don't remember like early like really <laughs> I mean, like three, four, you can like. I think you start getting memories, yeah. but I remember being dropped as a kid in China or in no, Canada? in my carry, like you know those baby basket carry thingies. Yeah, I remember being a baby, and then my uncle dropped me. <laughs> you were a newborn. <laughs> you remember being a newborn? Not a newborn, like I was one years old, I guess. Okay. And I remember being dropped on your head. No, in the basket. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I think she might have, like, made up a memory. Because no. memory is super malleable. Like, you wouldn't remember something that happened to you when you were one years old. That's, like, insane. I have no idea. I just remember it. Like, recall it. I'm not mm -hmm. sure if, like, someone said it to me. Okay. Um, but so, uh, okay, you were de deported by your parents. Yeah. Back to uh, China. Yeah. And... But you were born in Canada, then you came back to Canada at four. Yes. Okay. And then your dad spoiled you. Yeah. How so? Um, only only child? No. Okay. How many siblings? One brother. Okay. But how did he spoil you? Spoiled me as in like, you know, I was very, everything I wanted I got in a way, but mm -hmm. also spoiled me as in like protectively, like he was just a very protective father mm -hmm. and he spoiled me with stuff that i want like he tried his best for me even if he had nothing like to me that's like called being spoiled like he would go through he would climb a mountain just Did to something like something happen me. to him no, no. okay <laughs> you asked the most random question no she's like saying it like she he passed away or something uh -huh. I think she's speaking in past tense because she's talking about like her childhood. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Tiffany. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, so okay. And uh, does your dad know that you do OF? No. He doesn't know? No. What about your mom? No. Are your parents still together? Yes. Neither of your parents know? No. They will now. I don't uh, think so. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. So nobody will recognize you who knows your parents? Some might just probably won't talk to my parents about it. Because I don't think people would talk to my parents, like people who recognize me. Right? Wait, so what would their reaction be if they did find out? The reaction. Yeah. Hey, mom and dad, I do porn. <laughs> um, I think it'd be very different with my mom and my dad because they're very different. Yeah. My dad's more traditional. My yeah. mom is more, she goes with the flow. She goes with the flow. Okay. So, well, yeah. What would the reactions be? My dad would probably be like, what the heck? Like, why are you doing this? All that stuff. But eventually, to me, like the way that I grew up, I think they'd just be like, you know what? It's your decision. It's your life. Mm -hmm. You deal with your consequences. If that's what you want to do, then do it. And you deal with it, you know? Because I'm 18. Mm -hmm. Would there be corporal punishment? What does that mean? Like, would they beat you? Like, would they be <laughs> <laughs> would, would your mom get the belt? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Um, do you have like a game plan for when they do find out? I was scheming in my head. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to say like what I could do if that did happen, like running a bunch of different scenarios. I think the best thing is just stay quiet, avoid the beating. Avo avoid the beating? <laughs> yeah. Stay quiet. Yeah. Okay. Like don't, don't tell them. So if your dad, uh, if he was, you know, you have a conversation with him, he's obviously upset, and he's like, I want you to stop. Do you stop, or do you just say, nah? I would flash my bank account, maybe. 
You'd flash your bank account? Hopefully. Well, like... And what if he told you, I can provide for you? You said he was a provider, right? Yeah. But I think that providing, like, takes its turns. Like, obviously, when I was a kid, he was providing for me. But now that I'm older, it's my turn to provide for them. Okay. So the money that I make will obviously help them, too. Have you sent them any money, or...? I've tried. What do you mean, you've tried? They don't accept it? Mm, I guess they just get suspicious, like, where all this money can come from. I don't want to get beat. That's the main thing. I just don't want to get in trouble. Okay. Um, nobody else here does OnlyFans, right? Why are you looking at me? I'm just... I mean, I start my questions over here. No, no I don't no do OnlyFans. Only fans. Uh, no, but... You saw fake pics once? No, 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 no. Oh. Uh, I recently found out that my stereotype about OnlyFans and about how sexualized it usually is, is wrong. And I, I really just realized that, that many people are using OnlyFans for a regular content in order to let the people who are like actual fans of theirs to see more than they post on the social media, but it can be normal. Yeah. So I definitely con I'm considering this and i already got the messages from the people that admire my content like hey how can i donate how can i support you but with no weird shit so this is an option actually i didn't know i think though if you do want to do that maybe i think there's this thing called like patreon is yeah, that a patreon. thing patreon, yeah, patreon for sure fanfics yeah yeah i don't know are you concerned about the reputation that OnlyFans has. I am concerned, and this is the main reason why I've never had it, but I'm planning on posting the videos where I'm like, oh, I created the OnlyFans, it's not porn. Like, mm -hmm. And also I want to probably add it into the, my, my bio. Here's the link, no nudes. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Something like that. So I did, I did not want this impression, really. Do you think people would want to click that link, though? Because I feel like the whole point of clicking the link is to see Well, it's their I don't know. I'm, I gotta try it, but I'm definitely not... Mm -mm. I'm not doing the explosive the Wait, thing. so you've already created the account? Or? <laughs> yeah, it's empty. Oh, so you it's have the OnlyFans. Well, Pat, you've just... Point of no return. <laughs> You're an OnlyFans girl. Yeah, but there's it's, nobody it's there. there. It's too late. Still. There's too like late, shit. no followers yet. Okay. Just create it. Huh. But you're not going to post porn on there? No. Like, I mean, you might as well post it somewhere else then. Because, like, it's, there's a stigma. No offense to you. No, there's no. There's a stigma. No, I do not want to. Trust me, I considered that, of course. There, there have been at least five times in my life when I was thinking, huh, maybe, maybe I can sell the explicit content, but... Five times you thought about that? Yeah, about five. Wait, question for the whole panel here. Let's go. I know none of you besides her have the OnlyFans, but have you thought... Have you thought... Sure. About doing an OnlyFans. Absolutely. Absolutely. What about you? No. T no. Tiffany? No. Nope. No. Yes? Yes? What? You You think about it. <laughs> I, Wait, I kind of agree with that. I think. Um, <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> so funny. Well, I think most men like. Like they, you imagine it, but not with the possibility of you actually doing it. Oh, so you did imagine it, Tiffany? I think everyone does. What, what was yeah. it? Because it's so popular. <laughs> I, you don't think about that. Oh, okay. You don't go into the details okay. because, okay. like, you know you're not going to do it. Mm -hmm. But you just plan. imagine it. Yeah. yeah. Word. I think that, like, personally, like, I have lots of friends who do it. And um, when you hear the amount of money that they're making, it's mm -hmm. like, whoa. Mm -hmm. Like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a lot of money. And, but then, yeah. me personally, I feel like that, um, compromises like my values that yeah. I I live by so I, I Wait, what I, are your values? Um just I don't I I personally am not a sex worker. Um I don't judge people who do that. Um but I just don't feel comfortable like for lack of a better word, exploiting myself for mm. an amount of money no matter how big it is. Honestly, the bigger the money is, the more exploitative, exploited, whatever exploitive it kind of feels, I guess, mm. to me. Just curious, can you share how much you're making? A year or a month? Both. Seven figures a year? Mm-hmm. Six figures a month? 
What's Ooh. the most you've earned in one month? I started two months ago. Oh, okay. How much? I don't... Six figures. So that's your projected... Projected income. Yeah, from the rate that I'm going from the two months. Hmm. You reconsidering, <laughs> Tiffany? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have a chat here from Lowell Paladins. Hey, thank you, man. She's speaking weird about her dad who spoils her because she's fishing for OnlyFans Sims to spend more on her. It's a character like an actor. Do you want to respond to that? Fishing for OnlyFans Sims? Yeah. It's a character like an actor. Does that mean like I'm trying to act a certain way? Like I'm trying to portray? Well, he, I think he's questioning if your dad actually spoiled you. I believe her. Wait, I have a question. Did your parents like cut off financial like assistance completely after you turned 18? No, none at all. So if your dad was like such a provider when you were a kid, why couldn't he, why no, can't he friend. pay for your tuition too? Well, because don't you want to take initiative? Like, don't you want to provide for your, do you pay for your own tuition or yeah. are your parents? and my parents too. So your parents spoil you too? Yeah. So is there no sense of like, don't you want to pay for your own stuff? You just want to live under their wing forever? Um. So that's a yes? I think I want to like transition from being provided for my parents to a guy. Oh, like I a would, guy I, provider? I would, yeah. But to me, it's like, obviously I want that too, but I want to provide for myself. Too. Like I want to give them money. Because uh -huh. when they get old, they're not going to be working then it's the kids turn to provide for them right yeah i guess it's debatable yeah that's all you got tiffany <laughs> yeah it's, i mean it's debatable it's like i think that's true in some cultures yeah but you want to provide think, not through sex work uh, right yeah is that my understanding yeah mm -hmm. and i don't think it's the children's job to provide for their parents i think it's the opposite way around I mean, it's a gesture, but it's not required. We have another chat here from Lucas. Lucas says, you want a man who's a trad provider because your father, wait, because your father was your mother an OF girl. You're a baby engineer. You're smart. Can you put what can you PT to the in point to the inconsistency? Oh, point to the inconsistency. Trad men want trad women, not sex workers. So was your mom an OF girl? That's his question. <laughs> and then you're a baby engineer. Point to the inconsistency. Is your mom a OF creator? Not that I know of. <laughs> Wait, would you be upset at your mom if you found out she was doing <laughs> OF content? No. Would you be upset? Not at all. Really? I'd be like, go mom, go. Yeah. No shade, no tea. Yeah, Get no your bag, shade, sis. Yeah. <laughs> I think that'd Wait, be really? Would you do a features right. with your mom? That is... Well, I'm curious. No, no. I also am curious. Not like <laughs> sexual, but just like content. A feature? No, I would not. I think that'd be a little weird. I am curious because you said you're doing OnlyFans to pay for university. Yeah. So when is your quit date? My estimated quit date or like what I hope... Okay, I hope to go from OnlyFans to like an influencer because... You know, you, you're you posting on social media, you're doing content, you're connecting with your art, like audience and people, right? So obviously there's a little bit of influencing to that. So hopefully in terms of that, I can shift over in the next one to two years to like a full-time influencer instead. Okay. I have a question. Yeah. Um, you said that you're, you would not, you would prefer if your parents did not know that you were on OnlyFans, mm -hmm. and then you want to take the profits that you make from OnlyFans and be able to take care of your parents with that money. Yeah. Do you do you see? Does that seem questionable at all to you? Do you think that there's that seems at all deceptive or anything that your parents would be taken care of with the money that you're making with doing by doing actions or behaving in a way that they wouldn't approve of? No, as long as they're being taken care of, I think that's the main objective is to take care of them and make sure, you know, their old, older age days, they, they live well, they're happy and all that stuff. Do you think, 
Doc Venabilly has donated $200. Yeah, thank you, Doc. Canadian China girl, just imagine the odds of her father accepting your OF lifestyle. <coughs> Those will be the same odds that you will land a man that will provide for you as you expect. Quit now. Well, so you do you want, to, you want to respond? You should, you should check out my OF before you say that. <laughs> wait, why would yeah, yeah. wait? Why would he have to check out your OF before he can say that? Um, I like it. <laughs> you had a pretty big reaction to that. What What are your thoughts? Uh, to the donation and yeah. the comment. Oh, yeah. Uh, I just feel bad when uh, all of that thing starts like oh you like new china girl like you engineer baby you no know? like I've, i'm feeling this you know toxic masculinity like moment here you think that's what? toxic masculinity it's like so have you noticed who's who's giving the comments no okay <laughs> they've been pretty nice well nice i, uh, I agree with that well guy. they've been pretty tame so far comparatively speaking to mcdonald's um, eyebrows <laughs> Lol Paladins donated $200. She is so full of sheet. 100k a month would give her a yeah, quick day exactly to disembed if she was, was only was doing thinking. it to survive and it's, pay tuition. It's around for How me. How much is tuition at UCS? Oh, it's yeah, not I, a million dollars. What is it, like 40, 50k for the... It's for no financial aid at all. It's like 40k. For the whole four years? No, for, for, per year? for one year. It's 40k? Yeah, around. What it's like 30... Fuck? It's like 36K, and then with like other stuff you spend money on, it's like 40K. Okay, so you could be looking at spending like 100 to 150K. Yeah, and I also had a question. So if you can't provide for your parents right now just because of how suspicious they'll get, how mm -hmm. do you plan on providing for them in the future? Well, when obviously, I'll working. have my ways like for providing for them. Right now, I'm saying I can't provide for them because the money that I'm receiving like I just started right it's two months I everything's still new to me giving them that money is also a new mountain I have to climb over to you know start giving them more money and stuff and obviously I've been like giving them gifts and whatever I can with the money that I do get and that's less suspicious than oh hey dad here's 40k right mm -hmm. and in the future when I'm when I keep making this consistent amount of money, there there's gonna be ways like I'm gonna be able to be like do that for them when I figure it out. I think the reality of the future is your parents are probably gonna find out you do OF, which is like whatever, but yeah. And that's probably what it's going to be. And you know what? Maybe they come to accept it, and um, you and your parents can laugh all the way to the bank. Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, I think when you grow up being spoiled, you want to uphold that lifestyle. And yeah. so you wanna also want to repay your parents for, yeah. like, letting you live a comfortable life. So yes. it makes sense. Wait, but your dad, he was he's a Chinese national, right? Yeah. Are you full Chinese, like your mom's Chinese, your dad's Chinese? Yes. I mean, you're saying that the parents are going to accept it because they're mean, laughing all the way to the bank? I mean, isn't, uh, like, first generation, is he a first gener generation immigrant? Don't read those chats, guys. Is he a first-generation immigrant? My dad. Your dad, yeah. Yes. Okay. I mean, first-generation immigrants are typically pretty, like, traditional. Yes, he's traditional. So I don't think even if you make a ton of money, he's he's probably not going to be super stoked. That well, you... that's the thing. It's like parents, like, they're, the they're different, right? It really depends on the type of parents that you have. For my parents... Like I said earlier, the they'll they'll probably just be like, you just know, if this is what you wanted to do, we'll support like we'll support you. We won't be happy you're doing it. We'll obviously be disappointed, but we'll support you. And because at the very end of the day, like they're not going to be the ones dealing with the consequences in the future. It'd be me. I'm dealing with the consequences, and they'll just be receiving money that I can make and give them. If you're doing OnlyFans... <sighs> oh. Grid One Motorsports donated $200 and one cent. 
Can we just stick to the fact that regardless of how nice she seems, this Fukin Kuhn hey. sells sex online, which is degen as Fook. Seems like you could also <laughs> afford a real shirt and not in your underwear. <laughs> you, you had a really big reaction to that. What? Uh, what, what what's up? All right. Um, Is it the toxic masculinity again? or? Oh, I definitely expect you guys to make jokes about the fact that I mentioned toxic masculinity, but... Oh, yeah, we should get into that. Yeah, go, go, go ahead. <laughs> um, to start off, I love men and I respect men, but the comments that started going on... Guys, you you just got to take into the consideration that you have never been into the shoes of specifically this person. She's 18. She came from a different country. Um, well, she was born in Canada. So. I know. So what? Yeah. She's, st okay. she's still coming from a different country. She is Canada? trying to... Yeah, it's a different country. First world So she's country, trying to sorry, change sorry, the I, ways. I, I understand how an 18-year-old woman like her she she's trying to change the whole pattern and the system that her life has been working before she became an adult an official adult we can we can judge we can just say all of those like funny looking comments like oh you engineer girl okay like oh you china girl all that bullshit but I, I don't really think that this is constructive enough i do not understand why those all of those comments are coming from the men and very specific type of men. And this specific type of men is just usually not what I respect. Um, it's just not the individuals that I would fuck with. I'm so sorry. Um, when you say fuck with, do you mean have sexual intercourse? No, 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 no. <laughs> regular meaning of fucking oh, with. No. What's the, the It's regular. just not the individuals that I would resonate with. You don't fuck I don't, with. I don't grid fuck one with. motorsports. D don't you use this? No, 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 I'm not. No, I know, I know. You don't yeah. fuck with grid one motorsports. You don't fuck with low pal. That's you their name. Low with paladins. Grid. Yeah. They, um, Wait, you know what? I think. Uh, the... Yeah, of course you don't. Yeah. Oh, grid one motorsports oh. donated two hundred dollars and one cent. My wife is Chinese. She has never sold her sex online. STFU, you slimy who? Oh. Feminism has failed you. Oh. Embrace the patriarchy and we will help you find your way. Oh. Sorry, I don't believe in... I'm not... Like, I don't believe in God. I'm... Sorry. Oh. Uh, Wait, how did God wait, have to do with that? I don't think that? he mentioned... He said the patriarchy. Oh, yeah. sorry, I misread that. Wait, well, you, you, def you definitely believe in the patriarchy, though, because you said you wanted a provider. Yeah. And I feel like you're kind of masking this OnlyFans thing, like the intention of you doing OnlyFans as providing for your parents. Mm -hmm. But I feel like your parents would be happier with you just like quitting right now because you already made six figures in two months. So it's like 200K at least, right? Mm -hmm. So that would be enough to pay for your college tuition. But, um, and you getting like, like, stable like financially stable from that mm -hmm. and making a living for yourself through engineering i think mm -hmm. your parents would be a lot more happier with that so rather than have you, doing you OnlyFans. do you do math at all like do you take any math courses i have why is that relevant because you're saying that i should go with only fans but like like you sh you're saying i should stick out engineering and continue but Engineering is really hard. Like, what, what, what's your I'm major? I'm probably econ. Yeah. Well, we're obviously we we have different majors, right? Uh huh. Engineering is really hard. You're telling me to stick out with engineering. Obviously, I want to stick out with engineering. However, there's like a million people racing to do engineering, and if I can do engineering as like a side, that'd be a bonus. Obviously, like I can have OF and I can do engineering. That's double income, right? So who wouldn't want double income? So engineering is not your goal. Engineering. It's a side hustle for you. Uh, right now, yes. Engineering is the degree, like the major that I want to achieve. But obviously, if I can do this right now, it's going to be a side hustle, right? Also, I do want to just quickly address. Susan, if you already you, made you mentioned, it. Hold one sec. You mentioned like the, the soup chat, all the soup chatters and stuff coming in. Um, you know, it's actually all women. No. Yeah. No. Yep. I saw the How picture of that guy. It was not a Who? woman. What picture? Kendall. He only don donated ten dollars, by oh. the way. But yeah, but like the the, the <laughs> TTS is. It's all women. Grid One Motorsports. 
He's that one's a man, but everybody else is a woman. Where's the button? Stop the cap! Yeah, okay. Stop <laughs> the cap! Uh, Tiffany, you had something. Go ahead. If you already made to at least 200k from the mm. two months you did OnlyFans, how mm. would engineering be a side hustle? Like, Boster. why would you ever need money from that? Tiffany, Boston, Jack. Engineering is pretty hard, Boster. though. People yeah. like leave MIT and don't get jobs. Right. That's a very low chance. Most people who graduate with an engineering major get good jobs. Wait, but Tiffany, do you want an answer to your question? So <laughs> yeah, your question was like, okay, if you're if you're just trying to pay the tuition, you already made 200k. Is that that's your question, right? Yeah, my question is, what's your true intention of doing OnlyFans? Is it like truly to provide your, for your parents and pay for your tuition and make them happy, or or is it like for yourself and wanting to become an influencer and live that lifestyle? Well, obviously, there's like roads that lead up to that. So at first. I wanted to do it to pay off my tuition and you know provide for my family and uh -huh. because you're posting so much on the internet and you're connecting with your audience like I said then it's gonna start into oh you know what if I'm already doing if I'm already posting content and stuff like this I might as well tune in to influencer life because there's not much of a difference so basically you kind <laughs> of like compromised your values I feel like you're making a lot of assumptions about yeah. somebody that you don't know at all. But that's just me. How? I mean, you're talking about her family dynamics, her personal values, her morals, I never her finances. About her family, family dynamics. You did. You just oh. said, don't you think like your parents would think this or that? Like, do you know her parents? I feel like you're really coming for this girl. That was a and question. it's giving honestly is giving hater. That was a question. Are you are you hating? No. Are it's giving Wait, so answer my question Tiffany, then. Do you think your hater. parents would be <laughs> Have so are you I, asking about her wait. family dynamics? Well, I'm not assuming. I'm, I'm asking a question, so I'm asking, not assuming. About her family dynamics. Like, I can like see I said. both sides. Oh, hold on, guys. Audio. Can you get the... Let me get this straight. Sorry, Doc. You Sorry, think Doc. that you can bribe you, our parents, into accepting that you are a sex worker. A good provider husband will also be dumb enough to buy it. That sounds like toxic femininity. Toxic femininity. We, Wait, I have a we, question, Brian. Was this yeah. from a woman? Doc Vanabli, <laughs> that is probably... Um, and you, I, I, mean, I think it's a they. It could be a they. Oh, let's not assume. That? Let's not assume. It could be a they. Hey, and well met. Oh. oh. Lol Paladins donated got a couple coming in, guys. So and two cents. Settle Thank you. Down, Thank feminists. you, Lol Paladins. Stop defending this liar just because you share a gender. She said she made a million dollars, but that was a lie. Learn to spot a psychopath. Psychopath. We've seen psychopath. many like her on the show. Psychopath. Oh, damn. Oh, wow. Do you, do you oh want to respond God. to the psychopath <laughs> accusations? Um, you're saying I'm a psychopath. Don't they say, like, it takes one to know one? Ooh. Boom, roasted so. little paladins. Oh. Uh, OMG, shut the fuck up. Black shirt lady. She's 18 and wants easy money showing her... Uh, Vajin on the internet doesn't have a tragic backstory, and even if she did, no one cares. Countless other ways to make money. Yo, Davon Jackson, for uh, just FYI, I don't know if you're colorblind. I think she's in green. <laughs> little spin, little, just to we. Yeah, it's a green dress. Look, it's a green. It's. Uh, hang on. <laughs> Davon, you might want to see an ophthalmologist or something, but. Uh, yeah. Uh, do you have a response, black shirt girl or lady? <laughs> it's a green dress. That's all my answer. Wait, is it or is it? Was it you? I, she she didn't say never even. I don't think no. you said. That. <laughs> Are you talking to me? Am I the black shirt lady? I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh, I'm in a uh, a uh, hoodie. Thank you. Am I the black lady in a shirt? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, it's black shirt. Lady. Yeah. Well, I don't. If we, but have you have to, you're the shirt lady. Maybe. Yeah. Black. There would have to be a comma <laughs> after black. Mm -hmm. There's no. It's black shirt lady. If it was black comma shirt lady. Mm -hmm. But why would you be shirt lady? <laughs> the shirt. I guess it is the shirt. But yeah. honestly, he's color. He's clearly not with okay. the shirts. So. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> okay. Um. Davon, thank you very much. Law Paladins, thank you very much. Doc Vanabli, thank you very much. Uh, did you want to respond to Doc Vanabli, though? What did he say? He said, let me get this straight. You think you can bribe your parents into accepting that you are a sex worker. A good provider husband will also be dumb enough to buy it. Wait, what? Um, buy my OS? Like you said, bribe your, pa <laughs> bribe your parents. Uh -huh. Like, because I think he's maybe saying the hope here is like, well, 
maybe they wouldn't be supportive of the nature of what you're doing, mm -hmm. but by virtue of you compensating for that with the money that you're going to be making for yourself and then ostensibly providing to them, mm -hmm. giving to them, helping them, that they would accept this otherwise uh, objectionable career path? Well, I don't think they're going to accept it per se because this is a very you know explicit field of work mm -hmm. and obviously it damages your reputation or whatever so they're not going to accept it however i know that they're not going to accept it but eventually they're going to come to terms with like you know if this is what you want there's nothing that we can do to stop you from doing it because that's your life and i'm not trying to bribe them they the most i'm trying to do is just help them not bribe them i don't say bribe because that sounds like i'm trying to bribe my parents to do this like accept this no they don't have to accept it you know mm -hmm. it's not it's not their job they're not doing wait this. so what do you think your parents would be more happy with you sticking to engineering and quitting um of but not providing for them or doing of and providing for them which one do you think they would prefer the doing OF and providing for them because at the same time I'm going to do engineering right so I'll have a degree by the end which will provide me money but I'll also be able to provide them money but you just said that journey. they won't be accepting of OF they won't be accepting of OF but it's a better route to me personally well to you but which one would your parents be more happy with I don't I think neither one they would be happy about but neither one yeah okay can like, i ask you a question yeah but i don't want you to feel attacked so mm -hmm. uh my question is if you don't feel like me the mechanical engineering is going to be it's just a side hustle you yeah. might not get a job why not just focus your energy on becoming an influencer or something else that's more relevant to what you want to do and then maybe you wouldn't have to earn money through OnlyFans to pay off your tuition? Because personally, I think that my parents would be more mad if I dropped out. Okay. It's, I don't know if it's like the traditional Asian, you know, stereotype or whatever. They want you to finish school, get a degree, mm -hmm. have that paper degree. Yeah. And it's obviously, everybody cares about the paper degree, right? right yeah. now and if it's not something that i want to do it's something that my parents want me to do yeah so i'm obviously going to try and achieve what they want yeah right did your parents influence your um uh the direction that you went with engineering um or did you select your major who picked engineering i think it was a bit of both i think it was like a gigantic push of my parents saying engineering doctors they make a lot of good money and we want you in school for something that will make sure you live a good future so that you can have a lot of money in the future. So I think it's the push of both. And then, you know, eventually it was just like, oh, maybe I should do engineering because it, it makes them happy or, you know, yeah. it does provide a lot of money. Something like that. Yeah. Do you think that your parents would be more proud of you earning money one way or the other? More proud of me, like, whatever way I earn money? I just really encourage you to, um, I heard you say earlier that um, engineering is really challenging. Yeah. And um, we're, we become better people when we go through really challenging things. Yeah. And I really, really encourage you to stick with it mm -hmm. and, e and yeah. even get through those hard classes and not beat yourself up if you get a low grade and just keep on going. Um, because I, I, um, I think it feels good when you're proud of yourself. Yeah. I, I am trying to do that though. Like, like I said earlier, OF is my main job, but engineering like, it's a side hustle, but it's a side hustle that I'm going to you're get going, a degree. Yeah, with. you're going to school yeah. for it. I have a question. It's just a random question. Because of your um, food content TikTok, do you do food content with your OnlyFans too? No. Like, a OnlyFans food the content food, only? <laughs> the food content was actually because I was trying to copy this TikToker. Mm-hmm. 
he, Alex was his name. Mm-hmm. Like he also does those food contents, and I was like, like, do you think I could do that too? And then that's that's just how I started. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm here a little late, but pull I'm just up. curious. Um, pull it up. Pull it up. Pull it up. So, uh, how how long have you been going to school for mechanical engineering? A year. You've been in for an entire year. Yes. Okay, and and so you're going to be a sophomore here soon, or? I'm in my first year. You're in your first year. Okay, so has it has it been an entire year that you've been going to school for mechanical engineering? It's all together roughly around eight months. Eight months, and you've covered some basics. I take it. Yes. Yeah. Can you tell me um, what a solenoid is? No idea. Okay. Can you tell me what a capacitor is? No idea. First year is like the basic first year classes of math. We don't, we haven't really gotten into any of like the actual engineering stuff. Okay. Can you tell me what Ohm's law is? Ohm's law? I know this, but I don't know it. <clears throat> okay. Well, no, no big deal. I was just, I was just curious. Um, so, um, when you I, I, I was listening to the conversation back and forth about the uh, the parents' approval of the OF or not. Uh, just just a very very quick question. Your father, right? Do you have a good relationship with him? Yes. Yeah. Uh, does he know about the OF? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> and if he did know about the OF, you would be in big trouble, wouldn't you? At first, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's all I had. All right, I do need to read a couple of the chats that came through. We have Lucas, uh, Chair 2, you live in Delulu land. Would you be okay with your daughter doing OF? Chair 3, no more tame. What? Burger? Bugger off with the feminist shaming tactics. I'm married, sole 22 years, sole provider, son, daughter, two cent, two cent brain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Lucas. Um, <laughs> His question to you is, would you be okay with your daughter doing OnlyFans? Yes. You'd, you'd be okay? But it depends on what you did. Because for what, me... Like what she did? No. If for me, it's I'm okay with my daughter doing OnlyFans because I'm doing it, right? But if it's someone who has a daughter and they're not doing OnlyFans and her daughter's selling all that stuff online, they might not be as okay with it. But even if Mm -hmm. I wasn't doing OnlyFans, I'd say I would be okay because I have the same mindset where if that's what you want to do, then that's what you're gonna do, then you're gonna have to deal with it. Hmm. Okay, we have another chat here from Who Cares. Sorry, I have to step in. I'm a first generation Asian American, not born in America. I did did not denigrate sorry, I did not denigrate myself to do these kinds of things to make money. Your dad would disown you in a heartbeat. Your response? You wouldn't. Jeez. Maybe yours would, but mine wouldn't. Mm. Do you think it'd be I'm like we've this conversation has come up before on the show. Um, why do you then why do you hide wait, it from him? Come on. Because right now I'm still unsure of how to tell him. There's obviously been plans of telling him, my family in general. I just, as of right now, I'm unsure, and I'm only because he's going to be upset, right? Yes, he's going to be upset, but I. Why? Don't... Why is he going to be upset? Because his daughter is selling his her body online. Yeah, and do you think any father ever wants that for their daughter? No. No. That's why he's going to be upset, right? Yeah. You know why? You know why he's going to be upset more than anything. This is what the chatter was saying is because you're shaming him. You're you're, you're bringing shame to his family name. That's why. That's why he's going to be upset. Also, money. Right. <laughs> like. Yeah, I mean, you, you. I don't. I don't. I don't think. I think that perhaps this is a, a problematic idea in modernity for many women, but uh, you can't buy a sense of family pride. And when you're talking about shame, um, men men will pass on millions of dollars 
if it's from something that is shameful. For instance, if somebody offered to pay a man to sleep with his wife and was willing to give him $2 million, they're going to say no, right? They're going to say no. So How is that relevant? <laughs> well, because somebody brought up money. Is somebody right? asking to sleep with her in real life or sleep with, like, mm, that's not really a fair analogy. The analogy was about shame and money. The analogy was not. I would pick a different uh, in, re example. in regards. Well, I don't care what you would pick. It's analogous because we're talking about money, so it, it doesn't matter what you would pick. All right. So, what? Well, you know what? Why don't you pick the analogy then, and I'll just use that. Pick whatever analogy you'd like. I just feel like it's inappropriate to be discussing like the dynamics of someone else's family, like I said previously. Why not? Why? Why is that inappropriate? I I just think. To me, like oh, if yeah. someone were to bring is, up is my... Is that the first time you've ever done that? Just think? So anyway, so back to where I was at before I was so rudely interrupted. I'd like to uh, jump back into this and just just tell you about the idea of shame. Um, yes, it's going gonna, it's gonna to bring him a lot of shame. He's going to be very upset. That's all. That's, that's why you haven't told him, probably, as you know that, right? I would agree with you on that. Yes. Obviously, there's going to bring shame, and you're, you're correct. That's why I haven't told him what I'm doing. But I'm, I don't know. I, in my mind right now, I just want to be able to provide for them, provide for my family. Even, yes, this way that I'm doing what I want to do is not logically or like, accepted in our generation but everybody has their way of making money and you know what like i think if that's how you want to make your money then just do it do what you have to do right before you yeah if your dad head. was a if your dad was a hitman for the mob and he said i just do that to support my family um <laughs> Would you, would you tell him, uh, you know, Dad, uh, I'd prefer you didn't do that to support your family. But would he stop? Yeah, I think uh, if there was a significant amount of pressure, social pressure from your family unit, that it tends to change behavior, just like if you have a family member who's an alcoholic or a family member who's a drug addict or things like this, I think your family tends to care about your future a lot and they apply significant amounts of pressure to get you to stop and modify bad behavior. And this is why people tend to conceal bad behavior from their family, right? Because they know that they're going to do that. Well, if it gets to a point where there's a lot of family pressure and they really, really want me to quit after, say, a couple, a year, they still encourage that I quit, then I will do that. I will quit. <clears throat> uh, Tiffany, you had something. Go ahead. I just think you're kind of masking this OnlyFans career as something you're doing for your family when Neither. you're really doing it for yourself. Oh, Okay. You Bob, Bob Evans, thank you for the gifted 20 memberships. Did you have more? No, that's all. Okay. All right. Uh, we need to get through a couple other yeah, chats. RPR, Aquatic. Thank you, man. Thank you guys for all the messages. <laughs> so you're just going to get a degree and not even use it and just going to become an influencer with your OF simps. Yeah, that's just trying to cover up her being a sex worker and getting an easy way out. Do you have a response? I never said I wasn't going to use my engineering degree. I would use it if I had to use it, but if I had other ways, like becoming an influencer, being a big influencer, and that was my income, then I would just get that degree to make my parents happy. Mm -hmm. We have okay. Lucas again. Wow, Lucas is on fire tonight. Just ask her the first derivative of 2x. And then second derivative of 2x. Go ahead. The first derivative of 2x is 2, and there is no second derivative of 2x. Yes. Does that check out? Isn't it just zero? Yeah, because there is none. Does that check out? I don't know. I don't know about that. Okay. We have Lol Paladins. <laughs> How funny everyone assumes she even cares about her parents' opinion. This is probably the first time anyone has ever questioned her on anything. Toxic feminism, no consequences for the sisterhood. Wow, they are law paladins. <laughs> uh, your response. Or anyone's response. Your response. Your response. It's just... Honestly, it's not even interesting to respond. I have no response. To no that. response. Okay. I'm glad you donating. Thank you guys. Okay. But I just anyway. think like no one. Who are we to judge her? Like people become engineers to be rich, and you're skipping a step. 
And just because everyone doesn't agree with how you do it doesn't mean it's wrong. Like, we all have our own journeys to go through in life. Haters. Our <laughs> journeys? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I, I kind of want to let Andrew respond to that. Someday love will find you. <laughs> Break those chains that... Okay, sorry, your journeys. Um, yeah, that's true, I guess. Um, I guess we all have our journeys. Some go through completely degenerate and uh, horrific journeys and do horrible things to themselves and other people. And then other people go through journeys where they don't do that. Mm -hmm. So my preference is in the society that I live is that people don't do the latter. They do the former, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I do actually want to ask this because you brought up toxic masculinity. Uh, what is that? Um, I would like to described this way um, I'm a very strong believer in the fact that men and women they really need each other that we need to harmonize the overall relationship between each other as genders um, as to the toxic masculinity or femininity I believe that both of the terms are about this or that gender trying to bring another one down in this or that way. In short, I would just describe it this way. Oh, okay. Um, well, I want to go around the table on this. Wait, wait. Uh, uh, Brian, I'm sorry. I have to interject just very briefly. That literally told us nothing. That didn't tell us anything about what toxic masculinity is. You just said that you're a complementarian and you think that men and women need to complement each other. That does not tell us what toxic masculinity is though did you hear the last statement i said what's the last statement you said i said that either toxic masculinity or femininity is about one gender bringing another one down by any shape or form do so, you agree or no okay but bringing them down how check the comments that were sent this is what bringing another gender down is about for i me. saw individuals being uh, uh targeted in those comments not genders of people i saw individuals who were being addressed not genders. did you see somebody say all women or women x or did you see individuals being addressed individuals were being addressed but would those people address those individuals the same way if they were male, for example. Well, they so were now that's an assumption, fans. right? Huh? So, that, that's, so that would be toxic femininity, wouldn't it? Because the sure. example there is that you're bringing down uh, the entirety of men who are making those comments, and by literally making the false assumption that they're only doing that because you're women and not because they're addressing you, the woman, specifically what you said, wouldn't you be uh, engaging in toxic femininity by your own standard because you're judging men collectively based off of commenters who addressed individuals. That was a gesture of the toxic masculinity from a very specific individual, but I'm not generalizing and never have. No, you are. You're saying that it's toxic masculinity, right? That they are literally talking to only individuals because you applied it to an entire gender. You said, no, I'm not going to apply it to individuals. I'm going to apply it to the entire gender. You're being toxic. So in other words, these people are engaging in toxic masculinity because they're collectively bringing women down. That's your claim. However, they only addressed individuals and not women collectively. So you would be engaging in toxic femininity by saying that, right? All right, this is your perspective, but what exactly I meant by my statement is that specifically those comments that we saw that were given to this lady right here on the left. That was a gesture of the toxic masculinity for me because such words as like, oh, Chinese girl, oh, engineer baby, those motherfuckers would not say it about the men doing OnlyFans and doing engineering um, well, now you're major. Generalizing, you're generalizing and saying, because there are women, X is happening. That would be a generalization about a gender, so therefore toxic femininity, yes? You definitely are reversing it in the way that resonates with you, but I don't believe that this I is mean, what I'm saying. I mean, the way that it resonates no. with reality, you said if it's a generalization about a gender collectively against another, that would be toxic femininity or masculinity. 
All right. By you saying that that by you saying that women are being collectively assaulted, uh, even though an individual is being addressed, that would be toxic femininity by your definition, right? If the woman is bringing a man down, relying on his gender, this is a toxic femininity. If the man does yeah, the same thing, it's a toxic masculinity. That's that's all. Yeah, but if, women are, bringing down, women. That's, that's yeah, but if women are bringing down women, that would also be toxic femininity, right? Of course, undeniably. Yeah. Okay. Great. So then, if that's the case, when you apply that a comment towards an individual is applied to all women, right? You're making a generalization about a gender, so that would be toxic femininity, right? I don't understand at what point I used the generalization when I described the you action of the that, person that who left the these comment. These people are only making the comments because because they're women. Because they're women. So that person only oh. made this comment because she's a woman. That's a generalization about women, right? You're only doing X because they're women. So that would be toxic femininity, right? I don't see it that way. I would love to agree with you, <laughs> well, but I, mean, I don't see like, it this way I don't now. See, if it's just a generalization, a negative generaliz generalized stereotype about a gender, right, then how is it not negative to apply what's said to an individual to an entire gender? So you're saying, we, he's not saying that to you, Tracy, let's say the fictitious name is Tracy. Tracy, he's not saying that to you because you suck. He's saying that to you because you're a woman. That's a generalization about a gender, therefore would be toxic femininity by your standard, right? All right, let, yeah, let's put it this way. No problem. Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know how else to see it. Would you agree that the same person who left that comment together with $200, that was impressive too by, for me personally, I don't know. Um, would he say something similar if there was a guy here saying just the same things, well, see that what you're see what you're doing there. So what you're doing is you're saying um, collectively, right? Women are X, and collectively men are X, right? So men are not going to make these comments if if these are men over here. They're only going to make these comments if they're women. That is you making a general negative statement about men. Therefore, toxic femininity. Nope, this is not about me making a statement about all the men. No, I'm talking about a very specific well, if individual. if you say that men are not going to make these comments if there's other men there, they're only making the comments because there's women, that's a negative stereotype about men. Okay, now I understand what you are getting at. No, Well, yeah, that it's was a double-edged sword. It, it cuts both ways, right? Right. I hope you can just understand that I was talking about <laughs> the personalities sharing those comments and this is not about all the men and there is not any man who would leave that comment you know not anybody male would do that so i'm not talking about all the men i'm talking about well, one person showing that. that toxic masculinity by trying that doesn't to make any sense bring you're her saying down. that if you're saying that it's only because they're men that they're saying this because only because they're women Yes? Because if they were not men and were women, they would not be saying that, correct? That's not what I said, but okay, I understand so your Okay, so I'll point. just ask you directly. If these men who made the comment, right, were women, do you think they would be making that comment? They would still be able to make shitty comments, yeah, but, but not they? in this would manner. Would they be? Would they be? Not could they? Would they? Um, they would be definitely some of them at least they would be similar to what we heard at the table when we were discussing it there would be many this is how I vision it there would be females that would say oh yeah I hope your daddy's gonna find out and he will be embarrassed of you and like oh you're a sl it's 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 gonna be then also how would ugly that be toxically then how would that be toxic masculinity that would be a toxic femininity are you talking about women right now no how would it be toxic masculinity if you you said there that's a sign that's toxic masculinity because if that were uh, men if that was a man sitting there instead of a woman yeah they would not be making these comments right they would make something else and depends on who it's coming from i would definitely state okay this is also toxic femininity or masculinity I'm I, need, not... I need you guys to make your final points here on this. yeah yeah i just i'm still i'm still not very clear on 
So to me, it just seems like any general statement which is made about any gender is toxic femininity or masculinity. So you kind of lose both ways here. Because if you're making the claim that the chatter's only saying this because they're men, that would be toxic femininity. And if you're making the claim that the chatter is, uh, is saying this to them only because they're women, that would also be toxic femininity. It would be a general statement either way. I have no problem accepting your point. It was just okay. not exactly what I was saying. Okay, I'll, I'm just trying to make sure that I'm clear on what you're saying. All right. All right, so, okay, let's get into some of the uh, pre-show notes here. Going to Sylvie here from, how? Silly. Silly? Mm -hmm. Why is there a V in your name? No, I don't have a V in my name. Mm. Isn't it in your Instagram? No, it's Silly, VP. VV? VP. Is there a V? My, in my last name, there is. Mm. Okay, whatever. Why mm -hmm. is, uh, why is monog you said, why is monogamy, traditional life, the way to go? Yes, so um, like 30, 40 years ago, it was the way to go, but now I see much more girls doing OnlyFans and mm -hmm. like a um, lot of marriages, um, like they divorce a lot. So why should we still? Are you monogamous the... with your current two year relationship? Kind of. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What do you mean, kind of? We do what we want, but we tell each other we, we are honest about it. You're honest about it. Mm -hmm. So you sleep with other men? No, I'm really bad at it. I'm, he he what can do, do what he wants and I can do what I want, but we're, we just suck at it. What do you mean you suck at it? Yeah, I, do, I don't sleep with other men. What's that? I don't sleep with other men. But you can? Yes. And your boyfriend can yes. sleep with other women? Yes. Has he? No. Okay, you guys have been together for two years. Has yes. he slept with any other women? No. Have you slept with any other men? No. But it's a... So you have an open relationship. You're just really bad at yes. it. Using your own words. Yes. So... I find this a bit difficult to believe, so you don't get hit on at all? Um, yeah, yes, I do. And you reject them? Yes. Oh. Okay. I don't have to... Why oh. do you reject them? Because it doesn't click. I, I... So there, you're saying there's not been any opportunity, you haven't found any one guy attractive? Enough to go to bed with, we, yeah, yeah. Okay, but if an attractive enough man did... Yes. Okay. Then I, Qu are you on birth control? Yes. Okay. Would you have unprotected sex with a stranger? No, probably not. Probably not. Okay, but maybe. I'm assuming you have unprotected sex with your partner, though. Yes. Okay. He, has, he would have no issue with you sleeping with another woman. He would... Uh, or I, sorry, I would... excuse me, another man. <laughs> yeah. Um, he would not have a problem with it, if I'm honest. Yes. Okay, and so... If you saw him sleep with another woman, you wouldn't feel any type of way? Um, I don't want to see him, like... Okay, well, let's say, you didn't, let's say you didn't see it, but you knew that he yeah. slept with another woman. He can do that, yeah. No problem whatsoever. It, it will hurt when he says it for, like, five minutes, but... For then. five minutes. Why would, it, why would you open yourself up to this kind of hurt? Because it's five minutes and I'm not perfect, so why should I? Okay. Pre and he's that I am he's perfect? totally fine. He'd be totally fine with you getting fucked by another man. If I'm honest about it, yes. If... Is this a <laughs> cuck? Is he a cuck for this, or is it like an open <laughs> relationship? And it's, I don't know if it's cuck. He I mean, I don't I don't approve of it. It but. doesn't <laughs> stimulate me to do it, but it's okay. It's better than cheating, right? Do you want to uh, do you want to get married? No. Do you want to have kids? No. Mm, okay. Ever? Yeah, never. I okay. Mean, no kids. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I mean, do you think he's ever lied to you that he like maybe he has like hooked up with a chick but he just never told you? No, I don't think so. Are you guys on dating apps? No. Why not? Um I don't like it to just judge on a picture. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Is that against the rules for you guys to be on dating apps? No. How did you guys meet? In the game store. Oh, it was the game store. Okay. <laughs> um, and so you're asking why it's the way to go. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, would you at least concede that uh, when it comes to STDs, monogamy is probably superior than open relationships? STDs are, yeah. Sexually transmitted diseases? Yeah. It, it okay. would, it's well, not stimulating. But if you cheat, you're doing that as well, right? Yeah, but assuming there is no cheating. Yes, then it's perfect. Then traditional is the way to go. Yeah. Okay. So it is the way to go under that circumstance. Yes. But the STD argument isn't compelling enough for you. I just don't see it at this time that um, there mm -hmm. is a marriage without cheating or without divorce. Okay. <clears throat> so why is monogamy the way to go? And then why is traditional life the way to go? So are you talking, when you say traditional life, you mean more traditional gender roles too? Uh, I, I meant monog monogamy. Oh, you're speaking strictly just about monogamy. Okay. Yes. And, and traditional in the way of marriage, like okay. with one, one man or woman. Andrew, you have something on this? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure I understand it completely. Um, maybe you can, you can just rephrase it for me. Well, so she's, uh, in her notes, she said, or she asked, why is monogamy traditional life the way to go? She is in a open relationship with her boyfriend, although uh, we suck at they it. suck at it. <laughs> so neither of them are uh, cheating, doing, doing anything. but they could. Uh, so she's in yet. The, you haven't done anything yet. Yeah, six Yeah, months. are you gonna no. open it up with another girl or another guy? Another girl, right? Me or him? No, yeah. I don't think they would do. Well, would it be threesomes? You. Would you do threesomes? We would be open to it, but yeah. Yeah, with a um, with a guy or a girl though. I think at first a girl. Yeah, of course, it's always a girl. So, um, and then if you're opening up your relationship, was it his idea or your idea? Both. Yeah. Okay. It's always they always say both, but somebody had the original idea and brought it up. Which one of it? Which one? What? Which one was it? Him or you? I, I don't remember. Really, it's a pretty. That's a pretty pivotal conversation to not remember. <laughs> you both just had the same epiphany. You were eating your Cheerios together and drinking coffee, and you both looked right at each other at exactly the same time. We're like, mm. "Hey, I want to fuck other people." Like that, that. Of course, that didn't happen, right? So, no, what start... happened was one of you brought it up, and you began to s discuss it, right? So, which one of you brought it up? We we started the relationship with the same vision. So it was yeah, never no, closed. You still brought it up. No, it was never no. closed from the get-go. No. It was never monogamous. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so you met each other and then over dinner or whatever. Yes. One of <laughs> you still brought it happens. up. Which 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 one of you brought it up? I don't know. One don't of us know. brought it up and the other one said, Oh yeah, I'm like that as well. Okay. <laughs> so you're so your intent is this the first time you've been in an open relationship? Uh, no. Hmm. And how many other ones have you been in? One. And uh, how come that one didn't work out? I, I changed. Did you cheat? What does that, no. what does that mean? Yeah, what, I, does, what does that mean you changed? I was at home a lot and then uh, after COVID I didn't want to be anymore and he wanted so it didn't work. Did you ever actually have other partners? No, but he did. He had, oh, I see, he had other partners. Mm -hmm. And you broke up with him, right? Yes. Yeah, of course. So, yeah, that's why it doesn't work. <laughs> that's why it doesn't work. So, because the guy, the second the guy has another interest in another woman, that's why open relationships fail, by the way, 95% of the time. 95%. They have a 95% failure rate. And the other 5% are just waiting to be added to the, five, to the uh, 95%. Go ahead. Did you have a monogamous relationship before this one? Yeah. Did it end? Yeah. Yeah, so it doesn't work either, right? Yeah, but that's not why it ended. I didn't say that that the the Yes, but the conveniently enough, was... any time in those relationships that one partner begins to express interest in somebody who's external to the relationship, that relationship ends, monogamous relationships they end for different reasons. So while I, I'll grant logically to you that because there's a correlatory that both end, right, 
Uh, therefore, we're on equal footing. That's not actually true because mm -hmm. the reason why it's reported that these end in the open relationship is because one partner expresses interest in another one. Yeah, but outside I didn't, of the primary. I did enter relationship. So, and he was with someone else during our relationship. So I don't know what you're saying. He didn't. Yeah, and I'm just, I, I'm I just saying that conveniently enough, the most widely reported reason that open relationships end is because oh. the man begins to find significant amounts of interest in a woman other than the one he's in the primary relationship. That with. could be, yeah. And if it's uh, the relationship I have now, I have no problem with it, with breaking it up because I'm not perfect and someone else can be for him. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Right. That, I mean, that yeah. makes total sense to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? We, but we if, agree. You wanna know, okay. well, if you want to know why monogamy is optimal, it's because it allows for every man to have a partner, every ugly man to have an ugly woman, and every beautiful man to have a beautiful woman, right? It allows for that instead of allowing the beautiful women or beautiful men to absorb up all of the ugly and beautiful people, right? Which is what, what you tend to see in uh, hypergamous nations. So monogamy offsets this and creates the most stable societies, which with that we have. That's why it's always been illegal. The United Nations is against it. They're pro-monogamy for just this reason. Uh, and generally, it's not a thing that we should promote inside of society. Now, if you're asking for a reason for why you shouldn't be monogamous from a secular standpoint, that's the only reason I can give you, because honestly, I, I just don't give a shit what secularists do, because the, the, it's all just based on some whim and preference. So. I have nothing, mm -hmm. nothing against monogamy, by the mm -hmm. way. I think if it's what you agree on with your partner, it's beautiful. Wait, Just... is, it, is your boyfriend with you here? No. Oh. oh, yeah, on holiday, yeah, but he's not. Like, what do you mean? He's in town, but. No, but I mean, is, is he like, he came with you on this trip yes. to America? Yes. Okay, I see. Okay, cool. Uh, we have a couple chats. I'm going to assign you as official chat reader. That's weird. Oh, Tiffany. Okay. Uh, Tiffany, you wrote in your notes, you don't have a crazy dating story because you've never really dated around, but you do have hot takes. You say you should date oh within God, which your... Which one are you going to mention? You should date within your culture and nationality. <laughs> yeah. What you did, so what do you mean? <laughs> Girl. You should. What, what, and so oh, when you... Oh, wait. Wouldn't this proof that Super Chat are wrong about the white boyfriend? Wait, hold on just a sec here. Okay. Yo, Bob Evans, thank you for the gifted 20 uh, memberships. Uh, go, sorry, go ahead, Andrew. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Bob. Oh, if that was the case, wouldn't that prove the Super Chat are wrong about a white boyfriend? What do you mean, prove him wrong? Well, if you, you think you should only date within culture and nationality, right? Not a lot I of think... white Koreans running around, right? <laughs> No, as long as you're not, assimilated not to the culture and you have the same nationality, like you don't have to be the same race. How does a white person and an Asian person have the same nationality, though? Your passport? Can you scoot your mic? Yeah, your nationality is like your country. Oh, your country. Scoot the mic. What you, to, the, to the corner, please. What, what, what do you mean? Yeah, they would have this. You could, you could be an Asian American and, and, and a white American. You would have the same nationality. Right? Well, are why are you yeah. looking at me? Oh, yeah. sure. Yes, I just established that. I thought confused with the difference between ethnicity and nationality well, yeah. was, but we got it. I just Wait, okay, so you well, said no, nationality is part of ethnicity. No, it's mm. not. You can be yes, ethnic from one... Yes, it certainly is. A 100, you can be ethnic... Can a white person be Korean? That's what I was asking. Yeah, but you can be ethnically something and your nationality Wait, can, you, can be different. Yeah. On. Can you tilt your mic down a bit? And, yeah, yeah, your ethnicity is different. No, that's what you just said. That's a category error. You can be ethnically one thing and your nationality can be from another place. Like, two things can be true at the same time. Yeah, that's a category error. You're making a category error. So you're, you're conflating uh, racial characteristics with ethnicity. You can have an ethnicity absent race. So, like, American would be an ethnicity. Okay. I, I would think of as a, American as a nationality, and there's a lot of different so kinds of ethnicities that are both American. Things. American. Both things. If you're Native Race American. can also be part of ethnicity. They're not. Uh, but, but ethnicity is a broad, it's a broad stroke term, right? Uh, you could even say that uh, independent family is an ethnicity. It just depends on how much you want to 
uh, reduce it. But all ethnicity is pointing to is people groupings. That's it. Well, okay. So that could be grouped on nationality, race, whatever. Let's get a little clarification just to move things along here. You said you should date within your culture and nationality. So when you say culture, you mean what? Culture, like. Okay, so what culture I mean, do you belong to? Just g general, like American culture. Okay, and you're you said you should date within your nationality. So when you say nationality, you mean your passport, like American. Yeah. So Americans should not date people from other countries. Yeah. Okay. So anybody living in America can date <laughs> somebody else living in America because that's the, the culture is broadly American uh -huh. and the nationality is, of course, American. Yeah. So Americans can date Americans? You should date within that, that, that like spectrum, I guess. So your hot take is that Americans well, I think, should date Americans? No, is Americans a, shouldn't date take? like immigrants from a, with a different passport. That's what I'm saying. So, okay. So you're saying, okay, citizens of the United States mm -hmm. should not date immigrants. Or, or citizens, <laughs> or, or citizens no with, green cards. Who, who haven't assimilated to the culture. So, okay. I said it. I By the way, Andrew, is, is this potentially <laughs> TOS? You think, or I think it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. I think it's okay. Um, yeah, it's fine. We we're just talking about dating preferences. Wait, so, <laughs> so if I was dating like a a Mexican, uh huh, no bueno. <laughs> <laughs> I like the pun. If it will depends, like what kind of Mexican? If a Mexican, if she's like illegal. A dwarf. She is a Mexican national. She's uh -huh. a Mexican national. <laughs> Dwarf, no. Uh, she has, so she has a Mexico passport? A Mexican yeah, Mexican and passport. she, but she's here legally on a uh, visa, uh -huh. but she's here <laughs> legally. Uh huh. Would that be? Well, I think you should date to marry. So. Oh. So you shouldn't marry anyone. But you not. could make yeah, her an American by marriage. So. But she would become a citizen that, if I were to marry her. I know. That's why. That's why you, you shouldn't. Because you, you don't want her to become a citizen. <laughs> yeah. So is it, is it, is it people that are from, like, not American or people who are in America, not legally, that you don't agree with? It's, it's both. It's Americans who have it. It's people with an with an American passport who haven't assimilated and people who okay. have assimilated but don't have an American passport. Could, what if there was an immigrant <laughs> from Korea uh -huh. and she has taken on the American culture and she's uh -huh. assimilated, uh -huh. but she's an immigrant. Uh-huh. Illegally. Uh-huh. Can I marry her? No. No. Okay, just check. So what if, if she's a dwarf and hot? That's fuck. <laughs> what if she's I mean, not? You a, could if you want what to. If I just think you shouldn't. Yeah, yeah, I shouldn't. What if she's not a dwarf and she's just like hot as fuck? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Wait, what is, what is the reason though? Yeah. To create a homogenous society where there's no, um, it's like. When you marry someone outside of your culture and nationality, you're kind of like diluting the culture like of your nation. Do you know that this nation is founded off of immigrants? immigrants? <laughs> so I'm a, I'm, my family was an immigrant, like granted a few generations back, but I think almost every single person in this room probably was an immigrant at some point. And that's what our... That's there's, there's a limit to that. I think if there's way too many immigrants coming in, this whole country's going to lose its like identity. So... <clears throat> I mean, because oh. technically this country was founded on white, like Christian values. Okay, what about your boyfriend? If your boyfriend was an immigrant, would you still date him? No. So you Shit. do a passport check on dates. Wait, is it <laughs> is it TOS? Yeah, <laughs> Andrew. Yeah, now we crossed the Rubicon. Okay. Yeah, Andrew, just tell me because you should just. Yeah, now now we've crossed into the. I mean, it's fine as it is, but now we've crossed into the Rubicon. Um, but the, the idea here she, you, that you're promoting is just, it's just called cultural nationalism. It's just the idea that 
cultural homogeny is uh, a thing which people generally strive towards. They want some type of a code. It has nothing to do with race at all. It's just it's they're talking specifically about culture. So, for instance, let me give all of you an example. You can tell me if you agree or disagree. Japan has a distinct culture, and Japan has a distinct people group, and Japan wants to keep Japan Japanese. Can any of you think of a single problem with with that? Mm, I mean, no. I've been to Japan. Um, I don't see any problem with the way that they right. they right. live. That's the point. But um, I don't think it's applicable <clears throat> to the United States. Yeah. Well, even whether you do or you don't, you're right. You couldn't say that if the United States had such a standard, it would be immoral because the standard itself for Japan, you just conceded, is not. So that's the point, right? So the, this is the point of a uh, cultural nationalist who's saying. If, if the if, if you have a culture which you want to keep intact, like the Japanese, Japanese don't they only allow in a very 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 tiny amount of uh, of immigrants into the nation, um, and you know what's the argument for them not to do that? And there generally isn't one really. Mm-hmm. Isn't like the definition of racism discriminating against race and nationality? You got to speak straight into the. Isn't the definition of racism discriminating against race and nationality? Yeah. So, what's the difference? Are you saying the Japanese are racist? I'm not saying that, but I'm saying like... <laughs> well, then what's the problem with them wanting to keep Japan Japanese? And I'm just saying like, in America, I feel like that's Yeah, no, like... but answer my question though. What's, what's the problem with Japan wanting to keep Japan Japanese, even though their policy, by your definition, they would be racist, right? So what, what would the actual problem be? I mean... I don't live in Japan, so I don't really like care what they do. But like, I don't really know why that has anything to do with the question, though. You know, why do you need to live there in order to engage with the question itself? Well, it doesn't affect me, but like, I don't. I mean, I don't why, think. It's, why does it matter? If okay, it I don't think it's a problem per se, but I just think I'm just making. Yeah, it's a not. Point. So, so you're basically saying that racism isn't a problem, right? No, that's, that's what, what I'm you're saying. saying right? No, 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 no. That's all I'm saying. I'm just... well, okay, well then, then, then if it is the case that you're saying, if you're discrim- if the Japanese are discriminating against non-Japanese people, that's racist, but you don't have a problem with that, then what else could you be saying other than racism is okay? I don't, I don't get it. Mm, okay, well, okay, I, I just don't want to smoke with Japan, but I'm just saying, like, I'm oh. just making a point. <laughs> I'm just making a point. <laughs> I'm just making a point. You know what? I'm just making a point. She don't want the beef. I do not want. I do not want that wag you. No, beef. I do not want any beef with that country. So I'm just, I'm just making a point. I'm just saying, mm. I'm just, I'm just saying the definition of racism. That's all I'm saying. That's cool. And me. would they fit? Would they fit that definition? If they wanted to keep Japan Japanese, would they fit that definition? I don't want smoke with Japan, but she doesn't want. Smoke. Yeah, I, I get it. But would they fit the definition? Do you want smoke with Thailand? <laughs> no, I love Thai food. Wait, I mean, would they? <laughs> you know what? I digress. I think that a different example than Japan would be like a lot of the Gulf states in the Middle East. Their um, citizenship is extremely exclusive and only offered to people who are born there and proven to be, you know, that uh, ethnically. So, like, you look at places like Kuwait or <laughs> Qatar where they have or more Israel. Yeah, where there's more foreign nationals living there without a passport than there are actual citizens of the country, which just creates like um a very strange dichotomy, I think, to think that there's more like that would be like if there's more non Americans living in America than Americans. I don't know. It's just like a strange thing and, and generally How, I don't understand how is it a false dichotomy? They're literally saying we don't want people groups other than ours here. No, they're saying <laughs> yes. everybody. No, 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 no. Because they're allowing more people than citizens of their own country. As to, long as it's underneath the threshold of the majority. No, it's so not. Ma- no, I think you should do your research a little bit because I'm they're talking. Th- okay, so uh, using the J- Japanese example. I'm here, talking about the Middle Eastern are, yeah, example I that I just you provided. The subject. You created the false dichotomy. So the thing is, is like the, if the Japanese people say we want our nation to be 99% or 98% Japanese, right, and that is their official policy, is that a racist policy? Mm, I mean, I don't know. I guess it's subjective to whoever 
thinks, I don't know. How, the, how is it subjective? That's their official policy. There's no, there's no, nothing subjective. It's literally objective. The, the official policy is the majority of Jap Japan is to stay Japanese. That's the official policy. But of, Japanese of Japan. is not a race, so they're not race. discriminating <laughs> okay. against race. Oh, uh, okay. So the Japanese rule out everybody who doesn't look like an Asian Japanese person. No, now, who so is not, not a Japanese not person? A bunch, of, a bunch of white people and then claiming that they're Japanese because they now have Japanese citizenship. They're not doing that. Okay. Wait, can anyone, so can anyone not be a citizen in Japan? No, you can't. You can't? They only all? take, they only take X amount of immigrants per year to make sure that it stays Japanese. Okay. Cultural nationalism seems to fit in a lot better with smaller countries that are more homogenous. And in, in the United States, we have a lot of cl cultural pluralism, and that's what makes this idea of cultural nationalism not quite fit when your passport says USA. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What she said. Well, okay, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I, I, I could refute that pretty easy, but I'm not going to dive into it for purposes of YouTube TOS. But the thing is, is I would still like an answer to this question, right? If the Japanese say we want like 95% of our country to always remain Japanese, right? And Japanese, the criteria is you genetically have to be tied to the J Japanese race by X threshold. Uh, and we'll only take X amount of immigrants who are not genetically tied to that to that uh, demographic. That certainly sounds racial to me. Yeah, it is a little bit, but I don't want smoke with Japan, so I'm not oh going to say that. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, we'll just let it go there, I guess. Uh, okay. So, but you're saying like a white American can date an Asian American, a Black American can, can date yeah. a white American. Yeah. Okay. You said men should always pay for dates. Yeah. Okay. Uh, who here at the table agrees? Should men always pay for dates? So, no, 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 no? I think they should, should but pay. that doesn't mean I won't sometimes. Some, yeah. Sometimes, like once. Okay. Like, but it's not, it's not for their lack of trying. It's because mm. I want to. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, going back to Tiffany, you also said, maybe we'll come back to the paying for dates thing later, but uh, you said you shouldn't get married if you don't plan to have children. Not much there to really discuss. I don't know if you want to elaborate or. Um, Basically, you, sh you shouldn't no have kids point. out of wedlock. There's no really. There's not really a point. You, you're scooting to the mic, please. There's no point in dating. Okay. Now this is a hot one. Uh, you said people who don't speak English should <laughs> date outside of America. Yeah. To anywhere. It's, it's the same thing. It's like cultural homogeneity. It's like English is what like makes America America, you know? <laughs> so can they date anybody that speaks another language or only their same language? Like if they're bilingual. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Bilingual. As fine. long as they can communicate with each other. What about two Spanish speakers oh, who don't speak that... English in America? They, they should, should date each other. They should go back to their own country. Is yeah, that is that the is they that your value that that they should speak <laughs> they should both speak the at least the same one same language? That they should both speak English. Yeah, I don't. I don't know why. Why that's even problematic? Like that just makes total sense to me. If you're going to live in a country and immigrate to it, you should speak the language of the country. That just exactly. That, oh, that exactly. makes sense. Like if I went to Japan, I can't just be like motherfuckers. You should speak English. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, many, many nations have this as a, as a litmus test. Like, you can't move to the nation unless you can prove that you can speak the language of the nation because otherwise you become dependent. You, ha you become a dependent. You now are consuming state resources. That's problematic, right? Yeah. Wait, so, okay, so you said people who don't speak English should date outside of America, so they should... So like Wait, two what, Spanish where, speakers... Yeah, wherever they're from. If they, they they're go, from Spain, go date in Spain, go. where it's, they speak Spanish. Are you thinking of another country that or Mexico? Speaks there, okay. Yeah, that's where I thought you were going with that. Um, <laughs> well, I'm, I am pretty sure they speak Spanish. They, Spain, they do right? speak Spanish. No, they do. They do. I just there's not a lot of uh, Spanish illegal immigrants. That's you true. know what I mean. Yeah, they're mostly Hispanic. That's true. Yeah. No, but like from Spain. Spaniards. Like Spaniards. Yeah, that's why I said Hispanic and not yeah. Spaniard. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you also 
said, um, only men should make decisions for the family. <laughs> However, in the best interest of his wife and kids and not himself. Yeah. Do you want to elaborate on that at all? Um, I think that the nuclear family structure is the strongest backbone of a society. Mm -hmm. And the man is supposed to be a provider and a protector. So it's like right that he makes a decision for his family. What okay. about in yeah. same-sex couple okay. households? I don't well, believe in gay marriage. You have a reaction to that? Go ahead. Based. Uh, well, I'm sorry. That was go a ahead. Go ahead. Go sorry. ahead. Go ahead. So here, can you get scoot your yeah, chair yeah, sure, into sure, the sure. table? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, Every time I talk, I come closer. It's just... Yeah, but you just strain your mic too, please. It's like pointing at the moon. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, of course. That wasn't that was a very natural reaction of mine to I don't believe in gay marriages. It just cancels the love of some people and there would be no other love for those and uh, it's just not the statement that I would ever make out loud <laughs> or in my head as well. But I mean, it has and it's not because it has something to do with me even though I did experience the same sex relationship and it wasn't for me. It's just, yeah, as soon as I heard it, I was very uncomfortable thinking about the people who are happy in this relationship and that will stay together till the end of their lives. Yeah, I mean, she said marriage, not love, though. Yes. So. Okay, marriage. But marriage okay. is like love, is a sign of love. So, do you need that? Is a state required to be married? Or like a, a ceremony? Yeah. Do, do you need the usually... state to be married? Wait, I have a question. Is, is the state required to be married? Do you need the state to be married? No. Well, if you don't need the state to be married, then I don't understand why gay people couldn't get married even if the state didn't recognize a marriage. I don't get that. You would need the state to recognize your, your marriage? You don't need well, the state to recognize your wife. You don't need to have sure. a legal marriage. You can yeah, have you commitment don't. ceremony. You can have a marriage in church. So. Yeah. And. To be fair, uh, she did say love. She's not saying that any relationship. In, uh, yeah, yeah. You know? you, usually, well, so then you're just marriage. calling yeah. it marriage yeah. without without the sacrament or the certificate. You're just calling it marriage. Well, the sacrament is religious, and as you know, might might note the religious sacrament of marriage excludes what particular group? No, not necessarily. Yeah, necessarily. None of the none of the I'm a Catholic. That's that have not it true. as a sacrament. That's a not sacrament. True. Wait, you're a Catholic? Yeah, name one. Yes. Name I'm a Catholic, one. and that's you're, not true. Wait, what's not yeah, true? Yeah, it is true in the Catholic Church. Official Catholic doctrine is that LGBTQ marriage is not allowed. That's I said I'm a Catholic, Catholic but did I say that that's the all-Christian doctrine? No, yeah, I just said I personally a, am a Catholic, so I'm familiar then, with how Christians... Uh, are you aware of sacraments, then? That Christians have sacraments. She said a sacrament. Marriage is a sacrament to the Catholic Church. It's okay. a sacrament to the Orthodox Church. The, the churches so which will marry LGBTQ people don't see marriage as a sacrament. They don't do sacramental marriage. Okay. Set up the split. So I'd like to note, right, you do, you do recognize that the church excludes uh, this group from marriage. You recognize that that's true, right? Um, I'm not, I, I guess they, as a, a sacrament, but I do know that there are churches that will marry gay couples mm -hmm. yeah but maybe you, perhaps you, not you, called a sacrament yeah you would agree with me to me the words i didn't know sacrament is is a uh, specific to well you take communion right the yeah catholic church yes what is that i i understand that that's a sacrament but i didn't yeah, that's a sacrament. i thought sacrament was like a holy practice i thought that could be applicable to any church <laughs> excuse you can me call it a sacrament i guess but what makes it that so this is this is where the argument goes right would you agree with me that somebody could worship Satan but ID themselves as a Christian? They could self-ID that way. They could say, I'm a Christian. Well, you could self-ID yourself Satan. as whatever you want, but that mm -hmm. doesn't mean it's true. Yeah, right. Exactly. So you can self-ID as whatever you want, but it doesn't make you that thing. So we have to have specific criteria for what makes you that thing. So uh, the Catholics are going to believe that they are the true church. The Orthodox believe that they are the true church, right? Yeah. So they're excluding these groups as being Christians based around self-ID. And I think that that's totally reasonable, but they definitely exclude LGBTQ from marriage. Okay. So you think gay people should date or shouldn't date? 
They could if they want to, but I mean, I'm just saying that gay marriage isn't a thing because marriage has an objective definition. Why do you bring it back to the original thing, though? What original thing? <clears throat> that the man should be making those decisions. Oh. Man should be making decisions, but for the benefit of the family, children, not him. Well, yeah, I kind of I said that because when people say only like when when the trad guys say like oh I only get to make decisions in my family, it sounds kind of like dictator vibes, you know. But that's not what really. It, is about you know Andrew, what's it about it's not about um being kind of like prideful and arrogant and making decisions because like you're the only smart one in the household or you're the only competent one you just make decisions in the best interest of your family yeah but who gets to determine what's in the best interest of your family the guy okay so then i don't really understand the circular logic here how could he be doing anything which is prideful or et cetera, et cetera, unless you are the one who's telling him that if he's the one in charge of the family? <laughs> no, I, I'm saying like other kind of like left leaning people kind of hear it that way when when that's when trad guys well, I dis claim that. Well, I disagree with your with your assessment and uh, forgive me. I'll steel man it first to make sure that I have it correct so that I'm not not mischaracterizing your position. But I believe that your position here is to say that a man is a sacrifice for his family. Because of that, he is the leader of the family, but that's due to the self-sacrifice for the family. Not that he's the leader uh, and he should be leading for himself. He should only be leading for the family, right? Um, what do you mean leading for himself? Well, that's what I don't understand. What is the man in the relationship here? He's the leader. The leader. But you say, yeah, but you say his criteria for leadership is self-sacrifice. Part of it, yes. Okay. So, uh, I don't, I don't understand that part. Well, of the I think, position, I then. think God just gave men the role of leadership. Women okay, so make sacrifices within their. Okay, so it's not for the purpose of self-sacrifice. <laughs> well, they have. Well, they have to sacrifice. Yeah, they have to sacrifice, right? But yeah. they have to take care of themselves first, right? Because how, otherwise, how could they sacrifice to anybody else? So, like, how how can a man, for instance, take care of his family if he's not also putting his own needs and welfare uh, to the forefront as well? How could how could they even do that? What's an example of like putting work. himself first? Work. So the, let's take for instance, work is sacrificial, right? Uh -huh. um, but you're gonna, he's gonna need to have plenty well, of R and R time, plenty of relaxed time. He's gonna have to be taking care of himself as well. And part of the obligation, duty of leadership, is also putting your needs, your needs. Um, I, see, I think that I think that you have it backwards. I think a man actually does have to put his needs first in order to make those sacrifices for his family. Yeah, I'd agree, I, I'd agree with that. It's like in the long term, it's beneficial for his family. Right, exactly. So, yeah. so ultimately, I think, that, I think that the man does need to have his needs uh, come up first and foremost. Otherwise, he can't take care of anybody else. How could he? Yeah. Yeah. 29. About to be 30? Um, not about to me. How did you guys meet? Oh my god, ick, 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 uh, ick, yes, yuck, I can't believe it. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. What was your question? Um, how you guys met? Um, uh, we met online. Dating app? Mm -hmm. Which one? Tinder. Okay. Was it a, uh, hookup initially? No. No, okay. Is this, wait, hold on. That's not your first relationship because you said your longest relationship was three years, mm -hmm. right? This has been going on six months. So you've been six months in an age gap relationship. Um, I want to open that up to the panel really quick. Uh, do you guys have any objections to age gap relationships? No. 
feel like 20 years could be a lot 20 years I would say it depends like as long as nobody's taking advantage of anybody okay all right and uh you your ex for the three-year one you said he was uh addicted to corn Mm -hmm. right which is why we broke up yeah you dated for a little over three years throughout high school you hooked up with wait hooked up with a boy best friend Mm -hmm. what do you mean there um well just you know on the show for like you know history and everything um that's just my history is the three-year relationship which i left and then um between that you hooked up with mm -hmm. one of your male friends Mm -hmm. and then now i'm in my relationship got it okay mm-hmm. you said you're very traditional in your relationships I wouldn't say very, but well, that's I'm, what you wrote in your i'm notes, pretty but. traditional just with mm-hmm. like my beliefs and how i grew up and everything okay you said you were raised catholic and mm-hmm. you still identify but definitely don't follow it strictly fuck modern feminism mm-hmm. those are all separate thoughts yeah so yeah. let's start okay you're raised catholic are you still catholic um, I wouldn't say so, but um, I going. still have like some of my views from there. I don't practice, um, but I did go to Catholic school my whole life, so I do have a lot of background. One sec, guys. Uh, okay, never mind. Um, okay, you're uh, you identify. But don't you don't follow it strictly. What mm-hmm. does that mean? So I just don't practice. Like, um, I haven't really gone to church or anything. But um, obviously, like, it's what I believe in. You know what I mean? Okay. I mean, can you elaborate a little bit? Or Yeah, I mean, I just believe in Catholic beliefs. I just don't practice them. That's it. So you believe in God? Yeah, I believe in God. I believe in, like, the Trinity. Um, so you know about it, but you don't follow it? No, I believe in it. I just don't practice. You know, like, I don't go to church or anything like that, which obviously, like... Well, wouldn't the belief in it require following it? Um. Well, yeah, that's the ideal, but it's just not like at the point of life where i'm at right now just like my own like struggles and just like identity and everything but i still heavily like believe in my faith and everything wouldn't it help you through the struggles um yeah i'd say so it's just like my personal struggles that are keeping me away from practicing well that that's my point wouldn't it help you through the of course yeah It wasn't shade, by the way. Yeah, of course. I know. I know, like, how people, like, feel with, like, like people believing and, like, not practicing, you know, especially if you have the ability to. Um, it's just, like, would internal Would you say struggles. that Catholicism is getting in the way of your journey? <laughs> what would you mean? Journey in what? You know, your journey in life. Um, I think that's a big thing. Like, Catholicism, like, definitely, like, holds back, like... A lot of the things that I want to do and so what you think well just things in life you know like Catholicism. having sex with men. of course yeah like so premarital you, sex you would say like, like marriage it doesn't allow you to have your version of fun right um that's what that's yeah, right if okay. yeah just the way I live my life mm-hmm. okay so so um I just I just want to be clear uh you went to Catholic school your whole life right mm-hmm What's the, uh, do you know, school. can you tell me, what is the one unforgivable sin? Um, denying God. <laughs> no, blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. That's the one. Uh, the, so what that means is that you know that Jesus Christ is divine, and you know that the faith is true, and you reject it on purpose. That would be blasphemy against the Holy Spirit, the one unforgivable sin. Wouldn't blasphemy be mockery? Of God. That is mockery. Well, Imagine knowing that Christ is is uh, God, knowing that uh, that Christianity is true, and you turn away from it anyway. I just think that's a struggle that humans go through, though. I mean, it's not a struggle that humans go through when they know a thing is true and then reject it anyway. That's the opposite of the human condition. Usually, the human condition is when they know something is true, they accept that truth. But when somebody says, I accept that this is true, but reject it anyway for my own personal desires, 
that's the uh, the opposite generally of what we consider to be moral right can we pull up the definition of blasphemy can you speak a little louder can please? we pull up the definition of blasphemy yeah you can pull up the definition of blasphemy but blasphemy against the holy spirit itself is its own particular type of blasphemy it's the knowledge that the thing is true rejecting it anyway rejecting the divinity anyway that's what it actually is I'm just pointing, the only reason I'm pointing this out is because um, <clears throat> out of all of the sins which are which are comported to be heinous, that one in particular is the very worst, at least how it's described by the Catholics. So I that guess... you know it's true, you know the divinity is real, you accept that it's real, you accept it's true, and then you turn away from it anyway. So you're saying it's a form of blasphemy, because I... I guess I would say blasphemy is more like open mockery, like how people... I can only allow one more comment on this. and I Yeah, okay, so just real quick. What could be more mockery than, yes, Jesus, I know you're divine, but reject you anyway so I can have sex with a guy? How could you even... Can, I, I would like you to actually just think for a second and tell me anything that could be more blasphemous or more mockery-based than that. Anything. I guess it, to me it just sounds more like rejecting God. Because everyone has the choice to accept or reject God, but I don't, I would say I would disagree that falls under blasphemy. No, no, no. A rejection of God is, is I don't believe. I don't believe is different than oh, okay. I do believe. I and then in spite of the belief, I'm going to do the thing no, anyway. Okay. So you're saying they, sorry. they claim, I'm very they sorry. claim I have to it, move but on. they don't represent I'm very it. sorry. Got to move it on. Um, let's see here. I need to get into the notes here. Why don't we go back to Kaylee here? You said you're not a huge labia enthusiast. That's true. Are you bisexual or no? You just I, disagree. I just, yeah, I disagree with it. With the labia. Not thing. necessarily that having the labia is bad. It's just kind of weird. What's that weird? You, <laughs> how much you like labia? <laughs> you like mean, you have an Instagram dedicated to it, BLM. Yeah, big labia matter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm aware. What, what would actually be weird with? Um, so a male finding the genitalia of a female <laughs> that's weird i didn't know it was weird for men to be attracted to vagina excuse me maybe i'm too straight for you i apologize which but what um sorry go ahead what um what part of it the menorah or the majora the i mean part? both are cool both i guess so i guess they both can be big so big menorah is fine is what you're saying and so the lips it does it not matter that's I mean, the majority is good okay I yeah don't know. i was just asking okay i'm like because i've never seen the the page that she's talking about also you did say you would bow to me so go ahead i did go ahead when we were on our out. mock date let's see okay. let's see the bow she I can, has i can show you what my uh, boyfriend and i do because he bows okay. to me too so that's pathetic but, but <laughs> we penguin bow like no because of the whatever podcast no actually we were at the monterey bay aquarium and they were demonstrating how penguins bow to each other and we thought it was hilarious and then it kind of was funny that you guys also brought it up on well that's the cool um in any case i uh <clears throat> i rebuke you for your anti big lady matter <laughs> rhetoric disgusting uh you also said there's some views you disagree with i think we kind of got into those um i don't know was there anything else um i brought up the uh women's right to vote mm. why don't we save that we're gonna save that one for a little later though really we're gonna say okay all right but yeah. i want to get into that one don't yeah. let me forget uh we will get into it uh but okay let's and you have to remind us before okay. the show we'll do uh that's a debate you'll have with andrew uh let's see here going to uh megan you're a full-time yapper <laughs> You've absolutely failed to live up to this. I know. Uh, this is a very awkward environment to be in. Is it? Oh, yeah. It is. Yes. Oh, like, Deva. It's not that bad. It's what? I feel like now we have more room to know, talk. Man. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You got to be assertive with the conversation. <laughs> you can't let the, your neighbor just fucking, uh, what's it called? Uh, just totally, uh, you know, monopolize the entire airtime. Um, you said you've been married a few years, same person uh, for eight years, or married two years, together eight years. Fairly normal dating experiences prior, other than one of my exes coming out as gay. 
Two of them, yes. Two of them. Two, yeah, so you're attracted pot. to gay men. I didn't know they were gay to start with. Yeah. Well, you're maybe so. Two, wait, two? Two. Yeah, um, I, yeah, it's great. It's a bad track record, right? Sure is. Two? Are you ever... The, well, how close? How close wait, together? Can you scoot into the table? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Like, not to be offensive, but are you ever worried that your husband may... No. Okay. No. I, um, I was like, no. that, it, we're all like two, because it's like the odds of that. Are, yeah, like... Yeah. Yes, I Patrick. changed quite a bit throughout my years. My political affiliation has changed a lot, too. So what I accept uh, is no longer what I used to accept. Just put that out there. You used to accept... <laughs> but you used to accept it. Like, you used to accept, like... Wait, did any of them want so, to be pegged? Not that I know of. No. Oh, okay. No. Good talk. You said modern dating seems awful now and nowadays. Very disingenuous. Why do you say that? Yeah, nowadays it seems completely like trash, to be honest. Mm. I mean, everybody's using a dating app that was completely different when I was dating. Mm -hmm. um, you can't really get to know many people or yeah. really in depth, I guess you would say, because mm -hmm. um, it's all in front of a camera. Um, people don't want to get to know one another. They really just want to fuck and move on, which is fine in certain circumstances, I guess, if that's your thing, but that's not what I would personally be looking for if I was dating. Mm. Okay. You said you're a reformed Democrat who previously dated two men who came out as gay. Yeah. Uh, hot takes, you would never be in a relationship with a trans man. Yeah, I don't mm. think that should be a hot take, but yes. Yeah, I don't think it's that hot of a take. Uh, going around the table, do you think it's wrong? Let me kind of like reverse the, the roles a bit. Uh, do, do you guys think it would be wrong for a male to not want to date a trans woman? No. 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 Wait, what was the question? I'm sorry. The, you mean the one I just asked? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, that one? Do you think it's wrong for a man to not want to date a trans woman? I think it's their choice. Okay. No. Wait, let me just push back a little bit here. You think you might acknowledge it's their choice, but do you object to the choice? I mean, probably not, I guess. Okay. It's just their thing. No. No? Okay. Um, all right. Is it here? How about this? Is it straight for a man, a male, to date? Well, hold on. For a man to date a trans woman, is it straight? No. No. I don't think so. I don't think so either. I think it has its own category, so no. I guess. Okay. Right. No. No. <laughs> okay, all right, there you have it, folks. Okay, um, let's see here. We're going to go, Naomi, is that you? Yeah, that's me. That's you. Okay, you're a sugar baby. We didn't really get to that. Um, how many sugar daddies have you had? I don't remember, but right now I have like three. Currently, you have three right now? Mm hmm Okay, how many, yeah. you don't know how many total? Like a 10 plus, 20 plus, 30 plus? Probably like 10 plus. 10 plus, okay. Yeah, it's not that much. And so you have three currently. Do you hook up with any of them? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, all three of them? Yes. This is... I'm just curious. Because I know... Excuse me? Sugar daddies are like stereotyped to be old. Are they all old? I feel like I would be like putting them in like a specific profile. Like I don't know if they want to even... Just like 50 or older, like just yes or no. You don't have to specify their age. I just don't want to get into like what they look like or anything like that. Cause it's like discretion. Is it like legalities? Like you sign a contract? No. So, okay. Just You've respect. got the, the three sugar daddies. You're hooking up with all of them. Um, what, how does it work? Do they give you an allowance? Something like that. So, like, do they also pay for your bills? Something like that. Well, can you be a bit more precise? I don't really have a lot of bills, but I go shopping a do lot. Do they pay for your rent? Um, nothing is, like, directly paid for, so it'd be so like... So they just a, give you money? As a gift, yes. As a gift, yeah. Um, how much... I'm curious, so, like, the guy who's spending the most on you, how much does he send you per month? That's um, personal, for sure. Oh, give us the details. This is good, good content. <laughs> nah. 
There's other stuff to oh, talk okay, about. Okay, well then perhaps a different question. Um, out of all three of these sugar daddies, can you tell us the age of the oldest one? Roughly. No. Within the decade. <laughs> 50s, 60s. No. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> that would not be reveal. I mean, it wouldn't really be. Yeah, right. that wouldn't reveal might. anything. How would it reveal? Because then it's like if I'm with a certain age person, okay, out in enough. public, they're just going to. Is assume... any of these people twenty plus years older than you? I mean, sure, yeah. Okay, so then <laughs> I would not be mistaken in saying, and uh, forgive me if this is incorrect or I'm characterizing this incorrectly. <laughs> But you're a prostitute, is that correct? No. You're sleeping with three men simultaneously, many of them much older than you for the purposes of them giving you money. Can you explain to me how that's not prostitution? Uh, damn. Um, can I explain to it? <laughs> yeah, can you explain to me how that's not prostitution? Um, because it's not like a for sure thing, like, it's not the direct, if it's directly, I'm giving you it's this It's pretty direct, you're sleeping that. with all these men, in exchange, all they're giving these. you lots of money, I don't understand, can you make the delineation, can you draw me the delineation between a prostitute does this, which is, she has sex with men for money, you do this, which is you're having sex with men for money, what's the delineation point? Um, I just don't think that, like, we have to label it as such. Yeah, but why? Why? Because, um, it's not direct. It's not like, oh, I'm giving you this for this. That would be direct. Wait, if any of these men stopped giving you this money, would you stop sleeping with them? I'm into the provider type. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, so th then the answer is no? Um... I think if it was like, I don't think it would be no necessarily. So if any of these men tomorrow stopped giving you any money at all and said, I'm not giving you any money anymore, but I would, I would still like to continue sleeping with you, you would say yes? It depends. It's something that we would have to have a conversation about for sure. Okay. So you had the conversation. What would the conditionals be in which you would continue to sleep with them if they gave you no more money? I feel like that's personal, but like... Yeah, it's like a little too personal for me to share. Can I ask a question? It's, yeah, it's... but but here's here's the thing. Uh, I think that you wouldn't, and that you're basically lying to me oh. on purpose because you know <laughs> that the entailment of the answer, if you said no, I would not continue to sleep with them if they stopped giving me money, is that you then know that you would be a prostitute. So I'm going to ask you to just be honest. Isn't it really true that if any of these men, any of them, stopped giving you any of these goods or money, that you would stop sleeping with them? Isn't that the case? That's not the case, actually. Okay. Um, let's say, then, if any of them, is there at least some of them, that if they stopped giving you money, you would stop sleeping with them? Is there at least one of them? Um, damn, I feel like I'm put on the spot. Is there at least one? I think you just want me to admit to your definition. No, I don't. I just want you to answer my question. Definition. I just want you to answer my question. That's all I want. I think like, I mean, I have love for all of them. So yeah, I know, but if can you repeat progressed. my question back real quick? No, I can't actually. My okay, ADHD so I'm going to ask, I'll ask up. it again. Is there at least one of them who, if they stopped giving you any of this money, that you would that you would not continue to sleep with them? Just one. It's not even just about the money, though. Their personality. I know, I know, but that's not my question. That's not my question. So I'm going to ask you the question again. I get. I and understand. I'm going to keep asking it until you answer it. it. I'm never going to let you evade it. I'm never going to let you sidestep it. I'm just going to keep asking it until you answer it. Is there at least one? Who, if they stopped giving you resources, you would stop sleeping with them. Is there one? I love how you changed the question to resources. 
Um, to be honest, I thought about cutting certain people off anyway, money or not. So it's you a lot still of didn't. Personality. You really actually just again did not actually answer the question. Can you please answer the question I asked you? Probably. Well, I don't know. It That's probably question, doesn't mean answer. anything. Yes. I did answer your question. It just okay. Wasn't a then yes let me ask no you. You know what? I'll even make this simpler. The sugar daddies you had previously, before this particular grouping of sugar daddies, if is there at least one of them who, if they had stopped giving you resources or money, you would not have continued to sleep with? Probably not. I don't know. No. Everything is situational, really? to be honest with me. I'm not trying to like be annoying or anything. I swear. I mean, I, I just feel like this is uh, clever sidestepping because you don't want to admit what everybody in this room and everybody who's viewing and everybody on planet Earth knows, which is that at least some of these men, or one of them at least, if they stopped giving you lots and lots of money uh, and resources, you would stop having sex with them. Is that is that the case or is that not the case? Like, just directly. Is that or like is I'm that not, not the case? I feel like I'm really not trying to sidestep this. this is, I'm just genuinely answering. So is it or is it not the case? I said probably not. It's probably not the case. It's probably not the case. Okay. <laughs> but I do, like, regardless if there's money involved or not, I get, like, tired of people's personality. So it could... Mm -hmm. It's very situational. Yeah, but I'm sure, I'm guessing you get far less tired of their personality if they're giving you lots of money, right? That part. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, this, I'm just going to be completely honest with you. This sounds an awful lot to me like prostitution. In fact, I would consider it to almost be the dictionary definition of prostitution, which is a man gives you money, and in exchange for that, you have sex with him. So then, what would an escort be by your definition? Uh, she would be a... Well, if she was actually just escorting men to dinners and was yeah, not doing anything sexual that, with them, then I would say too. that I, I'm, I'm answering the question. Oh, so, sorry. Uh, if, if I would say an escort, if they were actually just escorting men out like they're supposed to because they're just escorts, they're just supposed to be arm candy, so that men who walk on a red carpet or something like this have something on their arm, I don't consider that to be prostitution. But if you mean escort in the term where they show up and then they go out and then they have sex with a guy, that's very clearly prostitution, yeah. <laughs> um, yes, it doesn't necessarily have to lead to prostitution, like sex, you know what I mean? It doesn't have to lead to sex and then it, by your definition it's not prostitution because if we're feeling each other's vibe and we want to have sex, we're two, consulting, we're two consenting adults, then we're having sex. Yeah, I agree that you could be two consenting adults who are just having sex. Where I disagree with is whether or not you would continue to have these relationships with these men who you claim are sugar daddies, quote unquote, <laughs> meaning they give you lots of resources and that you would continue to have sex with them absent those resources. That's what's in dispute here. Yeah, I understand the dispute. Yeah, that's what's in dispute. So um, you can, I, I suppose, say, no, really, Andrew, what it is is I just like to really fuck all three of these guys, and I don't care about the resources because they're great. They're fantastic. They are the bestest of the bestest, uh, but I they're just people. really don't think that that's the case, right? They're good people. Part of what makes I'm them not good saying they're not the good people. provider type. Yeah, I'm not saying they're not good like people. That. I'm just saying that if suddenly they were good people who also didn't give you any resources anymore, <laughs> that perhaps yeah, you would people. stop sleeping with these good people. That's all I'm saying. That's like if I want to get serious and then like if I want to like, because I'm dating three of them, you know, like what would, mm -hmm. for me personally, dating is like you should have some sort of advantage in life like that. You don't want to be left with nothing. So if I want to get serious with someone and like maybe it's one of these guys, if they stop wanting to pay me and it's like progresses to something else, then sure. Okay. Well, then last question on this before I, and then Brian can move it on. If one of these guys did want you to get serious with them exclusively just them and oh. said that they were no longer going to give you resources, though, if you got exclusive with them and you could not take resources from any other men but them. Would you do that? No. 
Okay, you're you're a prostitute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that. Literally, that's that would be dictionary prostitution, right? That would. Okay. You had a question for. Well, I was just curious. Is prostitution legal in California? Is that why you're not no, saying that not. you're? Okay. What? Oh, that was was that, that was the a question because maybe she doesn't want to admit that she's a prostitute because it's illegal. Do you aren't wait escorting you, is legal? Do you live in California? I live in LA, yes, but uh-huh. there's I mean, a difference between an escort who's choosing to sleep with someone who's providing for them, and there's a difference between just being paid outright. Do you think for they, sex specifically? Yes or no? Like you don't have a choice. Like you know, I mean, you have a choice, but they're like saying, "Oh, I'm not going to pay you unless you sleep with me." It's not that type of situation. I mean, you can put a bow on it, but I mean, it's essentially prostitution. Like, it's basically just coke. Like, oh, okay. I go out to dinner with the guy first, and then I can look at myself in a more favorable light because (laughs) I I did this token gesture of going to dinner with him before he paid me the money for what he actually really wanted, which was to have sex. It's just cope. I don't know. (laughs) I feel like I'm getting grilled for my answers. I mean, well, a little bit, but I'm, I'm going to be fair back to you. Um, the reason that I'm grilling you on this is because, to me, semantics, when you're, when you're talking, when you're having a discussion about a thing, I think are really important. I think it's important that we have semantic distinctions so we understand what we're talking about. So if you say, I'm not in this category, category A, in this case, category A is prostitution. I say, okay, I believe you, 100%, right? Yeah. But if you say... I'm not in category A, and everything you say fits with prostitution, then we're clearly talking about two different things, and that's bothersome, right? That now, it's like, well, wait a second. It sounds like we are talking about the same thing. You're just calling it something different for some reason because you just don't want the label of prostitute put on your shoulders. Um, that's, that's, I mean, that's, that's where it's problematic. It's not even an attempt to be mean. It's just an attempt to clarify what we're actually talking about. Well, I mean, we're speaking about right now, but in the past, like, I've had people pay me to hang out with them, and then it doesn't lead to sex. It's more of if I want to have sex with them. Would you have had sex with them for the right price? (laughs) What the fuck? That's like, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. We with yes or no? Can you repeat the question? Would you have had sex with them for the right price? It's more about like how I feel with them if I'm like yeah, comfortable. Great. Not about you feel good right, about the them. right price. You feel you, yeah, you feel good about them, and they're gonna give you five hundred thousand dollars. You sleeping with them? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that one. You don't know. Stop the cap. You know about that one. You ain't you ain't been paid that much from anybody. That's true. Okay. Uh, do you have? Did you have some more, Andrew? Or no? I think okay. we can leave it there. Yeah. I'm just. I'm just trying to get you to understand. We'll like, um, oftentimes people think that it's some type of uh, meanness or something like this. We're I mean, just trying to establish basic terms, but you can understand why when people do horrible things or if they have a perception that people will think that it's a horrible thing, that they're very, very evasive about calling the thing what it is. And so that's why I'm like, well, wait, can we at least pin down what the hell we're talking about? Uh, That's not an attempt to be mean. It's just an attempt to get clarity on what we're even talking about. The Mm -hmm. thing is, like, culturally speaking, that's the way that they want to treat their women anyways. They want to spoil them. And I'm not dating seriously right now. That's why I have a roster. I call it sugar daddies because, yes, they're taking care of me. They're spoiling me. But if you want to label it as prostitution, then... The legendary trash panda donated one hundred and ninety nine dollars. Thank you, man. Drinking Thank game you. in Discord. The more you say, stop interrupting, etc., mm-hmm. and the more Andrew mocks, the drunker we get. Also, panel, specifically chair one goth Catholic. We need to see your feet. <laughs> what gross. the fuck? What? What the fuck, dude? What kind of what kind of gross degenerate ass super chat was that? So um anyway that's it i'm just trying to get get clarification and i think oftentimes brian 
uh, and myself are ridiculed because when we try to get clarification on basic terms, uh, people get, they actually get offended. They get offended that we're just trying to figure out what the hell they're even talking about. No, it's cool. I'm not offended. I was just like, sure. I think there's just a gray area and people get that kind of confused sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, isn't it interesting, though, how the gray area seems to usually exist with the person on the side of the behavior they don't want to admit to? <laughs> Suddenly there's a gray area where there seems to be complete clarity from everybody else. So like, look, I'll, I'm, I'm going to actually prove this to you, right? Now, the girls in the room might be way too nice to raise their hand, but I'm going to ask the question to the table anyway. Oops. Would you consider that if you slept with multiple men in exchange for resources or money that you would be a prostitute just by a show of hands if you could, if you could uh, raise your hand if you would agree that that's prostitution? I would think so. Yeah. So it doesn't seem like there's uh, a lack of clarity or a gray area <laughs> from anybody except the person who's on the end of the behavior itself. Isn't that interesting? It's not an exchange, though. It's who they are. That's what they want to do. <coughs> they want to provide. Ah, and they I would want continue to, to do it before. absent any sex with you? It's not an exchange. They would continue to do it absent any sex with you? What? They would continue to do it absent any sex with you ever again? But then it wouldn't be like dating yeah and so it sounds like an exchange not. right it sound, sounds kind of like a trade of some kind well, like then, hey if you're I not giving me the sex then i'm not gonna give you the stuff but that sounds kind of like the whole prostitution thing they would probably see me as a friend if i stopped wanting to have sex with them which so is, so wait wait fine. why don't they why don't they want to just spoil their friend i don't know maybe it's just a dating culture thing yeah, it's a dating code. It's like it's almost like they they want to give you stuff in exchange for having sexual intercourse with you. Isn't that amazing? It's very it's very odd how this is. It's very strange how this is working out. All roads seem to lead to I give you thing and I get pussy in exchange. That <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Andrew, I think you're you got muted there for for a moment. I don't know if that's on our end or possibly your end. Can you speak into the mic, Andrew? Hmm. Andrew, sorry, can't hear you. Can you try speaking into the mic? Can you hear us? Andrew, can you hear us? Thumbs up if you can hear us, Andrew. Thumbs up if you can hear us. I don't know if he can hear us. Um, okay, we'll just... Um, I think he's fixing his mic. Something right. happened to his mic. Well, yeah. while we're doing that, uh, we did have... <laughs> A chat we have to get back to but also practicing gentlemen for andrew would you consider romance novelists romance poets poets or even corn script writers to be right. prostitutes for brian would you date a romance novelist andrew did you hear that yeah, i didn't hear the last part of it i'm sorry would you consider romance I'm... novelists romance poets or even corn script writers to be prostitutes no uh and would i date a romance novelist like a woman who writes romance novels, mate, maybe it's not ideal job, I guess, but I, I don't think it would be a hundred percent. It's all, it's all men who write that shit. Who cares? Yeah, I don't like think it'd be a hundred percent. It's all men who write all romance novels and then they do it with a female pen name. Yeah. <laughs> and then we do have to get back to, let me see here. Uh, let me read this from Mr. Unremarkable. Hey, thank you for the uh, super chat, man. Good to see you back in the chat. A rose by any other name is still hookerism. Gotta give it to the lady, though. At least she's engaging in the conversation. Mr. Unremarkable, thank you so much for the uh, super chat, man. Really appreciate it. Good to that see you poetic. back in the chat. Mm -hmm. Now, before we get into, there's a super chat that came in a little bit ago. He was asking about red flag jobs. I need you guys to, one, really quickly like going the video. Into the, oh, going into the super chatter's question, and he did say, I'll pull it back up here. Yikes, shave your baby hair, donated $200. He said... Red is goldfish tier content. Let's involve everyone else. Oh, Panel, what right. is the biggest red flag job for men and why? Oh, no. Brian and Andrew, mm. same question for women. But yeah. why is it sales? So going around the table, what do you think is like the biggest red flag job in a man? Construction worker. What? What? I'm I live in AZ. So, Arizona? Yeah, it's just a stereotype. Wait, why do you living in Arizona? Like, there's it's not just a construction? It's a stereotype for men there. 
Like if What's, you if you drive around, they, uh, and they party. The they culture, party pretty hard. Right. Okay. All if right. you know the culture, you know. I don't know if it's the same in okay. every state, but specifically AZ. Yeah, it's the same in California. Same yeah, in California, out west. There's a stereotype with construction workers that after they clock out, because a lot of them get paid big big cash bonuses, they party pretty hard. That's the mm. you know interesting when they're young and old. Not as much, not as much when they're old, but yeah, yeah. Especially, okay. but when they're young, especially yeah. Mm -hmm. So, construction worker, what about you? Um, probably anything in the entertainment business. Like podcast host. Like podcast host. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Okay, got it. Um, maybe if they're like a gynecologist or something, that'd be kind of. Wait, why? What What, what are they doing? Inspecting labias all day I agree. or what? Shit, sign me up. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Wasn't there a Friends episode about this where uh, who's yeah. Jennifer Aniston? What was her name in Friends? Uh, Rachel. Rachel. She was like dating this gynecologist, and he was said something like, "Ah, oh, it's just like I'm don't even want to look at vaginas because I look at them all day." I don't know. Yeah, something like yeah, that. that. And so uh, it was a red flag for her, and she broke it off with the gynecologist. Yeah, I would. I would also feel I that way. Too. I think. I feel like that's gotta be kind of traumatizing for the guy. It's like why? Because it's like I mean, if you see a healthy vagina, great. <laughs> you coming across some unhealthy pussy? They're usually yeah. not there with health. Like maybe problems. they become like you know. And they get up and so like they smell. Oh my gosh! True. Yeah, something. To th this is why it's a red flag. <laughs> I mean, they don't. If they're going to the gynecologist, it, then, but like, I don't know. if it's bad yeah. enough, you don't need to be that close. I'm pretty sure. Like that's there, true it fills like, up the room like yeah. there, there's girls that will get up from a chair and the room can smell it that's fucking disgusting god damn yeah. bro. i mean it there was, was this terrible. we had this one episode this one time <laughs> no way. yeah i don't know where this is gonna go but it's gonna be good i mean i wanted to give her the benefit of the doubt but anyways good talk uh red flag job um i don't really consider jobs as a red flag Hmm. I thought you would say that. Uh, there's not okay. even, I don't know, nothing that comes to mind. Like a SoundCloud no, love, rapper or something. I love SoundCloud rappers, <laughs> the fuck. Wait, do you have a type? Um, do I have a type? I think I said that already. Models and athletes. Oh. And porn stars. Models, athletes. Have you ever fucked an NFL player? I mean, they were more like college level like college, wasn't anything like crazy like division three i don't know i didn't ask or like have, you, have you made it up to like d1 not yet okay so like city college like d well, division two. i mean whatever. it's not even division they look fit so it's fine they look what they're fit they're fit they're athletes okay. it right. counts <laughs> red flag job i would say a sex worker a pro athlete and more often than not, a blue collar worker that does like at home meetups, like an electrician or HVAC. Damn, Wait, why is that? Shit. Um, <laughs> well, I know I know this from a few friends who have worked in the industry, but there, there's, it's more common that you'll find like a single mother who's getting their housework done that will throw themselves at the workers, and it's huh? yeah, uh -huh. and it, it's unlikely that like. A desperate guy would say no to that to get paid to like wait. H HVAC. That's a new one. Did you do you know this by like um, personal experience? Or? My ex was an electrician, and he would come like come back from work and be like, "That's how you got cheated on?" Or no? Oh, sorry. But um, he would Poor like boy. complain. <laughs> He'd be like, "The grossest uh, thing happened," or like, and then he would talk about how some of his friends would partake. He probably oh. did too and just didn't tell you about it. That is possible. Red flag job for you? You mean like red flag for someone like prospectively to date them? Yeah. Well like I don't know. I, I wouldn't blocking her. I'm not like dating you. Are you able to anything? scoot this way a little bit? Just the mic's kinda of blocking you. Go ahead. But like the only thing I could think of is like a job that I wouldn't want my boyfriend to have now because like what other guys do doesn't really concern me that much. But so I could think of something like maybe being a police officer or something, just something that's not safe is what I wouldn't want mm -hmm. him to be doing. Okay. Uh, Andrew, what's a red flag job for a woman? 
Biggest one, social media influencer of any kind. <clears throat> of any kind. That's Worse than, than porn, like a uh, sex worker. <laughs> Worse than sex I would, worker. I would think that the loyalty of a sex worker would be higher if she quit sex work and committed to one man than in any kind of social media influencer. Oh, it boy. is by far, I would, I would consider it to be the biggest uh, red flag possible. Any woman who has influencer in their bio of any kind, I would stay the fuck away, as far away from them as possible. Hmm. Okay. I have a, I have a list here. Uh, hairstylist, works in HR, flight attendant. How many cities have you been to? Travel nurse. How many Fucking cheating! You're cheating, to? bro. It was supposed to be the biggest red flag. Oh, biggest red flag? Shit. 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 Uh, damn, biggest red flag. It's a toss-up between. I mean, let's just put sex worker to the side here. You got flight attendant, and you got travel nurse. It's kind of like I don't know. They're both pretty bad. Probably flight attendant. I'd say. Anyways. Flight, att flight attendant is like... See, but that's that to me is similar to social media influencer. Mm. So it's like you always have the opportunity. You're always meeting men who are more powerful than you are and more powerful than the average man is. And so it's, it's like the amount of in entertainment, and you know this, Brian... The amount of women who have sex in order to attain clout in the social media world is fucking insane. It's it's wild over the top. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. One to ten, starting with you. You into the mic, please. Nine. Nine. Okay, then we're gonna go to you. 6.5. All right. Uh, without makeup, like a five or a six with like an eight and a half. Okay. I think it's sad she had to say that because this is just a hate and ass question. I personally think I broke my scale. I think everyone should feel that way about themselves. Anybody else, you know, that's them. So. To me, yes. To you, what? I broke my answer? scale. I broke my. So you're not even. You're above a ten. I'm above a ten. Yes. Um. So you're like an eleven or what? No, I broke my scale. That's it. So you're obese or what happened? Maybe. maybe. She's off the charts. I'm off the charts. Like, <laughs> just back to back to back. Just great. She's next really? level hot. Yeah. That's what she's saying. So. Confidence. Ten? Should we just say ten? I mean, if you, if you have to answer the question and you can only pick one through ten, which do you pick? Ten. Okay. Um, so my boyfriend and I, we call this um, rate graping because I've had like what? a lot of men who've like randomly rated Fuck. me. <laughs> so I would say the average is probably about six point five. I guess okay. that's what I go with. Well, what's your own rating? Like seven, maybe. Okay. What about you? I don't know, my teeth are kind of fucked up and I don't have an ass, so... What the fuck? That kind of drops me down on this scale. <laughs> okay. Uh, you said nine. What about you? Six. So can you speak just a little louder? Because you're a little soft-spoken. Go ahead. Six. Six. Okay, I give myself a five. Andrew? Oh, for sure I'm a ten. For sure? Do you think he's, yeah. a, do you think he's a ten? Yes. Why are you asking me? I, <laughs> Am I, I the know. judge of looks now? Should I rate you too? If you, yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Yes. Go um, ahead. I would rather not. My mother always told me if you have nothing <laughs> uh, good to yeah. say, don't say it at all. <laughs> huh? Okay. Well, I mean, she told me the same thing, but I'm going to rate you anyway. You're a three. Okay. I think you're very upset, and that's fine. <laughs> Wait, can you rate me now? I don't. I don't. I don't feel very upset. Okay. I want to be next. Rate me. <laughs> Why do you Yo, Frank the Tank. Least, Thank you, at Frank least, the At tank. least four points higher than the three. Everyone's higher than so me because I upset him. It's okay. That's fine. But when you're like the, let's mention the best yeah. of the best. When you're in that category, where are you? Where would well, you I, I, be? Hey, I mean, you would be if well a 10, if a woman. A and everybody could be a 10. What do you mean? Okay, where would you be? Mm. We're exactly where you are. No. A 10. I, just, I got a invited 10. here. 
I thought you said everybody was a ten. So when I say I said 10, everyone should think so they're a ten. I said think I said everyone should think they're a ten. But you. Yeah. So then, what's the problem? You're the one who sounds upset. No, but you then later say, said how you felt about me because whatever reason I hurt y'all feelings. It happens to the best of people. How do you hurt <laughs> y'all's feelings? Isn't there I hurt. I obviously did. I must have. I think. Well, there's but there's one. I don't think no one, even at this table, would ever call me a three. So that means I hurt your feelings. Duh. Well, I am. I mean, I'm a ten. Duh. I don't know. I, if I'm a ten, I should be able to rate everybody Listen, whatever sir. I want. I'm a ten. Listen. I think that I hurt your feelings. That's oh gee, I'm that'll saying. that'll teach me. Ooh, I think yo, it hurts whoa, your you feelings. got me. I think it hurts your feelings. Mm. You should take your wig off and say it's that. not a wig. <laughs> That's rude. Thank you for assuming. I think you're racist. Why? Wait, why would that because be? Because why would you think it was a wig? Way. Yeah, where'd that come from? Where, because why? I can clearly see that it's fake. What it's do you mean? It's not a wig. It's not a wig, but it can okay. be extensions and not a wig, meaning my hair is mixed in with it. I just added a you little. You mean, wig. okay, what are extensions? Extensions is not a wig. A fake, fake hair? Just say fake hair, don't say wig. Oh, that's the same shit. It's the same shit. Okay. Mm, I just feel like not. you're in your chest because you know you are what you are. I don't know. Honestly, you're the one who stood up and decided if I wasn't to trying to be nice, your real waiting, sir. Like the real truth. You look like an English teacher. You're like negative, literally negative two. You look like your breath stank. Like we could really go there, but I'm not. I truly think you're just jealous, and you're mad that we're sticking up for ourselves. What the fuck? He does look better. You know what? You know what's better. actually Maybe. nice about this exchange? So first your fucking teeth time is you, fuck. that you've been at that table, that you've actually told the truth. They, yes, because I was trying to. I said I do think everyone should like yeah, think I know. highly You're full of yourself. And I got the truth out of you. No, you know? the way because that I was able to do that was by pointing out the obvious, which is that you're full of shit. No, I'm not full of shit. You tried to come Clearly at me. You're full of shit. You tried come to on, You tried to take from what I thought of myself by saying I broke my scale. You tried to say to me you're a three, and I said you're just hurt. Delusional. So therefore, I told you about yourself after, and you said, "Well, I'm a ten. You said everybody ten. Don't call me a three, knowing I'm not." And then I come back at you and get mad. It's me defending myself. As yeah, because you're you're you were full of shit. You I wasn't full of shit. Saying. You were I lying was... through your teeth, and I pointed it out and proved no, it. No, I wasn't, because I think you should. Then think why that. are you saying shit about me? Because you, you know I'm what it is. Because I wouldn't say I'm a ten, and then because say a and, and then say oh sh he's a two. I wouldn't be like I wouldn't say that after though. I'm gonna be I'm confident and want everyone to be confident. You were saying you're a ten, you and then you were lying. I I wasn't. And now you told the truth. That's the difference. So you finally Listen, told the truth after no, you were full of shit. That's you your, were lying. Okay, that's your opinion. Very simple. Sir. That's your opinion. Very simple. Now you're telling the truth. Thank All God I know for that. is go back to that. English class. English class? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I feel like you should have stayed in English class. Okay, science. I feel like you should probably have stayed in science class, too. Listen, Here, I'll give you an example. Maybe. Can you good tell me, good can thing you I'm tell pretty. Me? Yeah, can you help me out with something? I just want to ask you one question. Can you tell me what the scientific method is? I cheated in math. Yeah. And science, and English, and every last one. <laughs> I just got the popcorn. Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> I hated geometry, so I don't even care about talking about science. I hated geometry. I cheated in most of those, but you I do hated, know you, one you thing. You hated geomet geometry in your science class, did you? <laughs> yes, I did, geometry wasn't. I hated geometry. It wasn't in my fun. Science class I didn't, didn't like it. Too. I didn't, yeah, like, I didn't it. like it either. Exactly. Like, come on, let's not act like we gotta be. A students like I have I was a in English actually that was my well, best as subject. an egg on as an English teacher I feel like it is my duty to explain to you that I do need to correct you on these small misconceptions okay yeah thank you you wear You're you welcome. wear it Wait. nice like I could see you in the position is the scientific the method the <laughs> e the equals fuck? mc squared? As a teacher, the teacher position. Yes, the scientific method is e equals mc squared. You got it. Is it can not? You, for the rest of the show, can you call him Mr. Wilson? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Just for, like, respect. <laughs> Anything else, Mr. Wilson? Strike. Can you hide him behind a fence? That would be better. <laughs> wow, that was, um, that was eventful. Um... Oh, we have a couple. Sorry, guys. We have a couple of messages here. Entitled Catfish donated $200. Uh-oh. 
pink shirt looking like a 48-year-old Team America puppet. Red dress, those stupid bangs don't hide that giant forehead. Um, I it's don't have hair. bangs yeah, on. It's baby hairs. That's just my forehead, and it's You're not right. big. I don't have a big head at all. To be all. charitable, I'm looking at her forehead. It's a normal-sized forehead. <laughs> yeah, you, have, I, you have an uh, off-the-scale, not even a 10 out of 10. It's off-the-charts forehead. Thank you. <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah, forehead. I don't know what the camera's showing you, sir. Like, but no, this is baby hairs, and it eats in person. Like, if you could zoom in on me, you should do that. He's so, yeah, zoom in. It, that's that's as far as we can go. Uh -huh. But see, the this, guy's name is entitled Catfish. I wouldn't take it personally. It's, oh, okay. Hide it. I think he wanted me to have a big forehead to like slander me. Probably, definitely slander. Uh, <laughs> Lucas says, "Yikes! Just blew up my pseudonym. I was Spiros Arsenis, real name." Uh, back to playing George Sand. My wife does extend her gratitude for your levity. Suck it up, Buttercup. No butt hurt. You're a strong, independent woman. Right. That wasn't bad. Like, I'll take the hundred. All right, Lucas. Thank you very much for that. That was uh, interesting. So going around the table <laughs> once more, uh, related sort of to the rating yourself question. Do you think you'll be better looking in 10 years time? Starting with you. Go ahead. Yes. Okay, so you're 19. You'll be better looking at 29. What about 20 years time at 39? No. Okay. What about you? No. Uh, so you're 33, better looking in for, at 43, no? At 43, no. Okay, and then were you better looking at 23 as compared to now at 33? I was Just more leaving. natural looking, so no. <laughs> Wait, you were more natural looking? I work in plastic surgery, so obviously I've had fillers done, so. Wait, so better looking now at 33? I feel like I look better now than I did when I was at 23. 23, yes. okay, yes. I got it. And that's because the fillers and Correct. some of the yes. work? Okay, yes, work it. does help. All right, Beautiful. you're... Definitely you're... a 10. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, off the charts. Def off the charts. Um, and then 27, will you be better looking in 10 years time at 37? Yes. Let me guess, yes. Of course oh, I, I would. Knew it. I knew it. Still there. Look uh, at Halle Berry. Look at all the beautiful women who was beautiful young, exactly. beautiful older. Like, yeah, like Hillary Clinton. No, that's different. Like all the housewives she are was never gorgeous. This How about, about Nancy Pelosi? I mean, like, I would have piped, like, young Hillary Clinton. But maybe that's your scale. Like, HRC. Like, you ever thought maybe that was your scale? Like, so young HRC. Did you like, see the recent picture of Pamela Anderson? You should pull that up, Ryan. Recent picture that's of Pamela, Pamela Anderson with... Uh, but that's oh, Pamela, man. though. Ooh. I actually look good without makeup. Like, honestly, I'll come back another day, and yeah. I'll wear my natural, beautiful fro and my natural Let, face. Let's do it. And you're going to be like, damn, Wait, yeah, she looks better. Better without makeup, one. Tilt the mic. She looks better without yeah. makeup, tilt, tilt, one. Okay, but if I say I don't feel like that, are you going to call me racist again? Yes. No, because you would agree. Racist. Or you're just a hater and just still mad you're such about a racist, this. racist, Andrew. It's because, disgusting. honestly, the fake air comment was petty. That's like me saying you're old, so your teeth are about to fall out your mouth for fake or something. Like, that's, that's what fair. it's like. Because that's fair. I, but again, I just wanted... The because my hair is, is still mixed in elicit, with it. In, in order to elicit the actual <laughs> it's not truth a wig. from you, in order to elicit the actual truth from you, we snap you out of your delusion, was indeed for me to push back on your insane claim that you're in the top most beautiful women in the world. That's insane. That's you your know opinion. It's insane. And the way, the way that we were able to demonstrate it is because the second I gave it pushback, you're like, well, let me tell you the truth about you. And it's like, right, perfect. Well, great. you wanted something, I accept, so I gave you what I you wanted. I can accept the truth about me. I gave right? you what but you can wanted. can you accept the truth about you? That's the question. No, because I gave you what you wanted. Oh, okay. Well, well, how I am so grateful that you gave me what I because wanted. Because you can't which... come at me and say <laughs> something that's not true. And then when I say, well, okay, how would you think someone it's true like you, 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 how would someone I, I know, like you, think you that you're in the top? You think it's true that you are in the top, one of the most beautiful women in the entire world? Really? Yes. 100%. Yes, I okay. do. Yes, I and do. And what are you basing that on? Um... I mean, me, my everyday life, like you should. Your everyday you, life? You, listen, if you guys want to come with me with the cameras, I swear to God, I got a lot of fans. I got a lot of people who love me. I have people who want to buy my face on their shirts. So, I mean, you could say what, what you want, but you don't know the fan base I have for yeah, who weird, likes me. Weird ass men will buy feet pictures from obese women. That doesn't make them beautiful women. That's them. We're talking about me. Yeah, I know. I'm saying that I think that you're making a category error. Uh, no, clearly, I think clearly, you're assuming. There are, clearly, we know the scale of the most beautiful women in the world. It's not yes. to say that you're a bad-looking woman. I'm not. Or that anybody is a bad-looking woman. It's to say that 
You're not in the scale of tech. That's your Often, scale. You're it's a lot of people. more than the most beautiful women on the planet. That's absurd. I mean, that's it's your absurd. opinion. I'm just not no, famous. No, that's a shared yeah. opinion universally <laughs> of all men in existence that when you say you're the most beautiful woman on planet Earth, that's an objective lie. Um, And you don't even believe it yourself. You don't even believe it First yourself. off, I would never say I was the most beautiful woman on the planet Earth. Well, then how Earth. do you break the scale? I said when that I the break tens, the scale. You're better than all the tens. And I'm, I, you ever thought maybe it's numerous beautiful women on Earth? Maybe This is, this is really Maybe weird. it's I'm, numerous ones. Maybe, maybe it's numerous the broke the scale where you see a lot of women and you're like, damn, all of you guys are gorgeous. Like, all of you just are gorgeous. Like, you ever thought maybe it's just a lot of gorgeous women, like, who broke yeah, the scale? Yeah, but doesn't make any sense. Let me explain it to it you. It does make a if sense. If Brian asks you, Brian asks you, he says, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the most beautiful woman on planet Earth and anything under that not being that, you I say still you're that. Agree. Hang on, I hang still on, agree. I still agree. Let me finish and I'll let you talk. You say, no, I'm past that. The most beautiful woman on earth? Fuck that chick. I I blew past her last week. I, I am now the most beautiful woman in existence. That's what you said. Now, not only do I know for sure that you're full of shit and absolutely don't believe that bullshit, not for a second, right? But you're completely unwilling to admit it and you double down on it. Right, which is why we call you. Delusional. No, because I never said anyone was better than me either. I didn't double down on it. I said that it's numerous gorgeous women. So yes, you could have your type, but I'm someone's type that's the beautifulest. You feel me? Like I don't know what you're. No, getting I at. don't. I don't feel you. You don't. don't you obviously don't, don't feel me. Sense. You don't, but that's your opinion. It's a lot of people who think whatever your view of the most beautiful is not that. But like I said, I have fans. I have people who like me, who consider me what I am. And I consider myself broke my skill because you asked me. I didn't go out of my way to tell you. And that's what I think of me. Yeah, do you, do you, know, you realize the purpose of the question is to establish delusion. So the purpose of the question is to ask. No, I think if I said, "Oh, I'm just a three, I'm they will be like, "Oh, so you girl, know. no, you're and not a three, so cute." But because no one would ever call because no. 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 I'm the Unless only one who said I broke my scale, you're, you're insecure about it and think I should humble myself, dude. I'm literally five eight. I could be a Victoria's Secret model. Like mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm tall. Let me guess, you're not. I'm beautiful. I'm skinny. I have the perfect shape. Like I don't know what you yeah. think so anyway but, so, yeah. so the reason the the determination for the scale the reason that the question is asked is to determine delusion so what you do is you ask moderately attractive women who get tons of male attention because all moderately attractive women do get male attention what they think honestly in comparison to other but i'm not my i'm Hang not on, the regular one finish, though you talk. that's for another girl finish. but let this conversation finish. is for another girl you know, let me finish of course. Finish <laughs> i'm not the regular one no you're just gonna i'm scream. top tier okay. You're still going to scream? Because you that's your opinion. No, you're still going to scream. Okay. Because everything you're saying is your opinion. You said mm -hmm. the mo like yeah, moderate. Me, I'm not that. I just said. I so why would I continue if I I'm said. not that? You get it? I'm yeah. not what you're trying to mm -hmm. create. Make it a thing. Mm -hmm. That's not a thing mm -hmm. in my world. In my world, yeah, that's I am a broke that's my great. scale. Yeah, I know. The delusional world. Okay. And that's your opinion. You, yeah, at the end of the day, y'all messaged us to be here today. Yeah, I know. We messaged you to be here. What about us made you message us? What what about us made you message us and tell us you'll pay, pay us to sit here know. and talk? I don't know. I didn't message you. I was messaged to be here too. What about me? <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> I was supposed to be here too, lady. Okay. So anyways, we're back. So they back said, let's put the most basic is old this, man up here that girl, looks like an English oh, yeah, teacher. Yeah, basic, flat-chested, broad, who's a loud mouth. Listen. You're about to do the finger snap. Oh, you're oh, upset. Do, do the finger oh, snap. Do the finger I snap. I knew he'd been come mad on. at me this whole time. <laughs> Once I say anything yeah, to you, you come back like, oh, she's that, she's that. No. You talk shit. You no. get this shit. Okay, you remember, your cheek's getting red. But remember, you said she's not going to have nobody, and I'm. Three, no, I'm a no, three. I'm not going to be shit. I'm not going to be shit. I'm not going to be beautiful. Like, bro, what if I'm... You're not going to be shit, not going to be beautiful. What if I'm... Pain. What if I... Words in my mouth. Whatever. It's not even that. Let's get into it. What if everything you said backfired, though? Mm -hmm. What if she did get married? What if I was on Sexiest Woman Alive in mm -hmm. two years and... Face yeah. all of, all over you know, every billboard. Rocket ship to Mars. Yeah, I mean it's possible. I mean that's your opinion. It's that's your opinion. Anything is possible. That's your opinion. I I you know, see you live in delusion. If question. anything, I no, think no, you no, live no, in I've delusion. I've just been listening to you prattle for like an hour. Just I've wait a second. Let me ask point. you a single question. I know. I don't, I think he just lives no, in delusion no, 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 now. I want to ask you a single question. Here's my question to you. 
If you were a gambling person, you were a gambler, you made your living by making bets. If you were to bet whether or not she's going to marry a multimillionaire in the next year. She's only dating not, them. Hang on, a year, let me ask the year. question. Can I ask the question? Sounds if like you sure. made your living as a gambler and you had to make the bet uh, to, against or for that I was going to build the next rocket ship to Mars, that you were going to be the next Victoria's Secret model, or that she was going to marry a millionaire in the next year, which way would you bet? Even I wouldn't. Now, like, now go ahead and lie to me. Go ahead and lie I to me. I didn't say I would be me. the next Victoria's Secret model because I'm actually not working towards that. I just said if I'm one of the sexiest women alive in a couple yeah. years, that would be shocking to yeah, you because you, you were a hater. Which way, would you, which way would you roll the dice? You were a hater. Which way would you roll but the you dice? But you were a answer hater. So if something successful would me pop off, just remember, you were my first yeah, live hater. Live hater. Question. A big, question. Listen, and remember everything you said about me, too. You're still not answering the question. Remember. Which way would you roll the dice? Listen, I don't care about what you're talking you about. The All the stuff you're saying, anybody could get. It's like you said, like yeah, I said, so which actually. Which way would you roll the dice? Just it's not. Me. It's not smart men out Why here. Why won't you answer the question? What's the question? Okay, I'm going to ask you again. <laughs> Do you, if you had to roll the dice on whether or not you were going to be nominated for the most beautiful woman in the world in the next three years, and she was going to marry a million. I don't, I don't think it's a nominee. I don't think that's even a thing. But that's not even a thing. Well, you got to let him ask the question. Let him ask the question. Go ahead. Let me ask the question. Go ahead. Ask the question. Go ahead. Instead of you obfuscating, so that we can watch you not answer it for a third time. So if you were a professional gambler. And you had to make the bet for your entire life savings, and your life savings was $2 million, on whether or not that woman was going to marry a millionaire in the next year, or you were going to be nominated for the most beautiful woman in the world in the next three, which way would you bet? Now lie to me. It's not a nomination for the most beautiful woman, so yeah, I couldn't, whatever, I couldn't make an opinion on something that don't exist. I had to see the last beautiful woman yeah, whatever to make an opinion on it. Yeah, whatever it is. Whatever it is you said, most beautiful woman in the world, whatever that I is. I said the sexiest woman bad. alive on a, on a cover. Yeah, great. Okay, so that that thing. Have whatever you ever is, seen, you know who Idris Elba is? He once was the sexiest man alive. You might not even yeah, know. I, you I, might not, not even know who question. he is. But that means he's sexy to certain women Just in the world. Just waiting for your answer to the question. Can you answer Listen, the question? your question doesn't exist in my world. Just answer the what? question. <laughs> no, I'm not going to. Because it's yeah, not. Gonna lie, right. Because you hers. Because you know the answer. Hers is legit. Mine's is not a voting. I said no. Good, I, I'm not getting married in a year to a millionaire. Because. Tell be, me which I don't you know would where this whole Because mine is not no competition like that going on. All I said was this other gorgeous women and I'm one of them that's up there in the scales you're steady bringing it to not yes, be realistic asking which way you would bet can you just answer the question listen if I had a cover right now it would go crazy it would be beautiful it would be an amazing cover so me yes whatever it is with me off the charts yes broke my scale okay so you yes. if you wanted to then right, right this second if you wanted to you could be on a cover uh, a cover of a major magazine that says you're the most beautiful woman in the world. If I had the opportunity to shoot, mm -hmm. I don't think nobody will have a problem after they've seen the cover. Mm -hmm. So, um, um, and if you had to bet in the next three years, if you put all of your energy into doing just that, do you think you would get it? Yes. If I put all my energy and wasn't like so strong minded, because me personally, I moved here and I wanted to model, but I didn't, I don't want to do what all these other women do. Like, and you know what they do out mm -hmm. here. So now I'm what just do they focused. Do out here? They do everything they can to get to the top. I haven't they do even the casting did. casting couch thing? I haven't even did one thing to try. <laughs> so if I actually put effort, can you believe coming to y'all show was my first like thing, considering putting myself out there? And this was like kind of a, a kind of disgusting, honestly, is why I don't. That's do, fucking th disgusting. This is why I don't oh, do stuff, certain things. So, yeah, but, I am sure that you expect everybody everywhere you go to kiss your ass in the second. I, I mean, happen, I feel that's like that's you. why you're trying to be rude on purpose, because you don't want to be that person, because you feel like I get it a lot. I do. And I don't care about it. It's fine. <laughs> you, get, you get what a lot. 
um, people kissing my ass. And I feel like you're upset about that. Yeah, I know, that. but in the next 10 years, that'll change. This Listen, probably, not really, because that's what you think. You think you It'll think that. Yeah, I literally will. No, I don't will. just think that. He I doesn't mean, know me. Listen, <laughs> listen you, every woman on planet Earth is going to sit in the exact same position that you're in. They're going to say the exact same thing. They're going to say the male attention will never dry up. It always does. Within I don't need male attention. What? Who said I need male attention? If I needed male attention, I wouldn't be no, single. I'm not, I'm I wouldn't be single. If I needed a man to give me it. flowers, take me on dates, do yeah. stuff, I wouldn't be single. You know I could get a man. That's so not, all this delusion is you're, tripping. You're, you're, you're the delusional one. You're what's being said. Right, but if I wanted to marry regular like you and him, you're freaking out. All you do is freak out. I'm not freaking out. I'm just over talking you because I don't care about what you have to say. I'm not freaking out. I'm over talking you. I mean, you're still freaking out though. Yeah. So I'm saying if I don't care about what I have to say because if I decide if I decided to settle for less, like be with a regular looking guy like you or him, then yes, I would be married. Saying my husband doesn't want me here, and I'm married, and I have to take care of my children. Yeah, no, but you gotta shoot for the stars, right? But I don't want to be with a regular basic man like yeah, you prisoners are the ones we go for right um we were together when we were kids i did say that four years Not before he before he went to jail four years before he went to jail so well, i isn't that mighty mighty convenient that your track record is picking the, the most basic of the basic men Not really because we're from high school for them isn't we were high school sweethearts, so you don't know what could happen after high school. So, I mean, we live and we learn. I'm not saying that's the best choice, but I'm saying we live and we learn. And if I have one experience, that's better than the women who have a lot and the men who have a lot more experiences doing what they do for a living in life. I don't do can, nothing can of that sort. I don't do nothing of that sort. And I get a lot of, Word. a lot of, you know, offers. So... It's like speaking to you is point. Look I can at you. Tell that I don't Look like at you. you. For real, for real, for real. You don't even speak to certain women in Cali this caliber all the time, anyways. Y'all have to come and wait, have wait, us. Which caliber? Y'all have to. Which bro, caliber? The broke my scale. The sexiest the, woman the, alive calendar. That mm, one. She's the one that broke your heart. Yeah, I, I know, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you have to pay women to come across to my the black table. My wife is going to have some words with you. You have to come across. He pay, does have a black You have to pay a woman, and I'm sure she would feel weird that you calling the only black girl at the table weave and wig. So I think she would think you were very I didn't tasteless. Say anything about I think I she would wig. think you were very tasteless for that, sir. I said, well, you're uh, wearing a wait, fucking Like I said. Uh, what do you want me to wait, say? Wait, but, wait. What about? Uh, da, da, da. You donated Hold 499 We got to mute your microphone for Please 10 minutes. Please mute Red Chick's mic for the love of God. All right, can you mute? She do you know how to mute it? sometimes, but she won't stop huh? yelling, and it's driving me absolutely insane. He paid, four, Nine, he paid 500 though, yep. because he got mad at me. Uh, hey, we got to mute your you mic. You see? Hey, we got, it's okay. We got it's to okay. Do, it's okay. We got to do a little, we got to do, is it good? Did you have it? Let's see if it's interesting without me. Well, yeah, exactly. okay, so I, well, I'm going to take this opportunity to let some of the chats come through, guys. We had to put a moderation delay on. I donated $200. Ten the minutes. one with McDonald's arch eyebrows and bike tire lips is insane. Blue collar side piece of best. The one with a doily oh, the cloth fuck? for a hairline is a six on her absolute best day. Ladies, please be real. Wait, what? Who's he talking about? I think he's talking about me, but people literally compliment the my lips McDonald's everywhere I go. McDonald's so arch two eyebrows? And these eyebrows are amazing. Oh. Every time I get them threaded, they tell me how beautiful and perfect they are. So, K-9, okay. Okay. RK don't Knight, care. Thank, thank you for that. We have three uh, messages here. Thank you, RK, uh, R Knight, for the TTS. Lucas, thank you for the uh, Streamlabs message. Whoa, married gal is the most attractive of the group, yet the most grounded in her rating, the wonder of a strong man in a gal's life. Cheese head? What it? When Drew was your age, he was slinging way above your sexual market value. What is a ch is that like? I'm from Wisconsin. Maybe he's calling oh, me cheese. Oh, but yeah, because exactly. Milwaukee, I, yes, the like cheese. I said, every woman Wait, you're, you're muted. The, the mic is muted. No, every, ah, da, da, nah, her, da, da, everyone. Da, da. Yeah, you just talked about me. Everyone would be happy if I sat here and said, "Hey, shut I'm your a three, freaking mouth. Shut the fuck up, okay? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut up, bitch." I can't believe what we're talking about. <laughs> you get it? Uh, okay, that was cool. Um, hold on, I have some more that are coming through here. For, let me also just read. Yo, Pelagic, think uh, forehead beards aren't attractive? It's 
edges. They can't. It's muted. Your, your mic's muted. Person. Your you mic's. Just, whoosh, whoosh, can't zip tell. it. Like, whoosh, zip it. You zip think it good. It's bangs. You think it's this? You think it's oh that. my god, I can't. <laughs> hey, I'm trying my best here, boys. Okay. Uh, thank you, Pelagic Six. Really good to see you in the chat. Forehead beards. I think that's the first time I've ever even heard that term, but uh, that's an interesting one. We have Lucas again. Thank you, man. Nah, huh? C note was for Bry, not for you. Put them grubby Mr. Burns paws away. Uh, chair three bases her supermodel status on her washboard abs. I mean, chest? Damn, bro, these would be. Okay. I feel like you should send these in as a TTS because I, I feel bad reading some of these, you know? Good talk. Okay, we have oh. Eric. Uh, if you're the sexiest, then why are you on a podcast looking for attention? If you actually were the best looking woman, you wouldn't be here. Eric, I feel like, first Damn. off, we frequently have tens on this podcast. Okay, so shut up, Eric. Okay. We have the most, we have plenty of beautiful tens breaking yeah, the yeah, scale. Just ask them. Just ask them. They got it away. We have tens. To come. We have tens. There have been more beautiful women on this show. Oh my God, than chill. Than okay, Earth. stop. Your mic is muted. Asked them. <laughs> All right, uh, we have, and then uh, can we have a, oh yeah, that's, okay, thank you guys. And then uh, we can, that one came up. Ogle, thank you for becoming a member. This is a good time, guys. Go to Twitch. And then, let's see here. Army retired. Thanks for the gifted five subs. Going back really quick to the question, though. Oh, has it been 10 minutes? Are you keep? Are you keeping track of time? I think it's pretty close. We need you back. Wait, let's see. It's been six minutes. Not yet. Well, we'll come back to her. So going to you. Uh, you are 23. Will you be better looking in 10 years' time at 33? No. Okay. And then you are 28. Will you be better looking in 10 years' time at 38? Fuck no. Fuck no. I and drink a lot. You drink a lot. Mm-hmm. So the alcohol, right. Yeah. Okay. It's bad. Were you better looking... Uh, no, wait, hang on. No, wait. Alcohol has a pickling effect, right? So... It, it's possible that that you know it preserves what's there instead right do you think so mm. i clean like bottles like 1942 bottles she cleans Damn. them <laughs> cleans them uh right. so okay um oh you, and you're were you better looking 10 years ago at 18 versus compared to now i look like i was a little kid so for me no Okay. To some people, probably. Uh, you're 37. Do you think you'll be better looking in 10 years' time at 47? Yes. Okay. Let's do 20 years' time, 57. Maybe. Okay. 30 years' time, uh, 67. Better looking at 67 than now at 37. That's when I will probably decrease. That That's 67. Okay. And then you're 37 now. Were you better looking at uh, better 27? Looking now. So better looking now at 37 than you were at 27? Yeah. Okay. And then were you better look, are you better looking now at 37 than you were at 18? Definitely. Okay. So almost 19 years time, 20 years time. Uh, so better looking now 37 than at 18? Yeah. Okay. What about you? No. Uh, so you're 20, better looking in 10 years time at 30? No. Yeah. And then you're 19, better looking in 10 years time at 29? No. Okay. Good talk. Good talk. Uh, let's see. Um, I th do, can we... Un nope. Another two minutes. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm the one getting Other than the zip, your mic is <laughs> muted. Okay. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it, guys. Appreciate it. So let's get into the pre-show notes here. We got to get into the pre-show notes starting with you know what though hold on actually before we get into the pre-show notes uh does anybody here have any disagreements maybe you've seen the show before maybe some of you haven't so you know you haven't seen it whatever uh any of you here have any disagreements with myself with andrew with any of the things uh if you've seen the show before starting with you not particularly nothing particularly disagreements no. skipping you disagreements never seen it <laughs> that's fine yeah ever yeah i have disagreements okay uh do you want to why don't we get into it okay go ahead um okay i disagree with um you mm. not mm. <laughs> um having a girl sleep with you on dates one mm. to three and then having a super low body count i just think that's pretty unrealistic why because usually they're religious or like they haven't had sex for a long time for like a specific reason and so i just don't know what it is about you not to be rude mm. 
but would make someone want to like give up their virginity after uh, one I, date. I mean, I date women who aren't virgins. <laughs> what? Why is that? I was agreeing with you with that laugh. I'm not supposed to talk. Remember? But the, I think you're unmuted. Wait, right? so you ex you expect women? Wait, ho hold on. Yeah, go ahead. You, so within the first and third date, if they don't sleep with you by then, that's like, that's it for you? Um, I mean, there can be some leeway in cer certain cir circumstances, but I mean, I have an idea. I have a fairly strong idea of what I'm looking for in a relationship. I'm not a virgin anymore. I've had numerous long-term relationships. I've had obviously sexual partners. Um, not really interested in waiting more than a few dates to have sex. Do you have any further inquiry? Wait, I got one. Hold on, hold on. Let's oh. go back to her. Go ahead. Um, do I do remember inquiry? you saying you disagree with being friends before dating because of the risk factor of like a girl using you or kind of like stringing you along. Like you're against being friends before a relationship. Is that material to the current conversation? Well, kind of. Because I can, we can talk about that, but you're kind of changing the topic. Well, um, kind of, because you're saying like, if you're going, well, maybe not. Actually, yeah, maybe not. Okay, so let's get back to the topic. Time. So, see, she watched your broadcast. <laughs> yeah, I see the pick me shit now. I get it. They all kept up with you. They know what's going on, so they over here acting a certain way on purpose. Me, Why would you get mad that somebody else maybe. actually did the research for the show they were going to go on and you didn't? Uh, well, insane. because they messaged me a day ago. Okay, sir. You had a whole day to research. I have a job. <laughs> I live in LA. Day, I live in LA. I have a job. I'm not gonna care. I just came to support. What are you griping? What are you griping? Aren't about? you happy I'm here? Why, how is she a pick me? Because I damn did near get you all the That's money. Nuts. Just let me talk. Shh. Okay, let's get through the topics here. So um, the criticism was that I have an expectation of hooking up relatively quickly, mm -hmm. but I also have a kind of, in at least in your purview, a uh, difficult to reconcile or contradictory similar position of desiring a woman who's who has a low body count or who's even a virgin. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so the way I typically answer this, obviously if the woman's a virgin and I'm interested in her, there's gonna be a bit more leeway in terms of how long I'm willing to wait. I'm not interested in getting married, so obviously if she wants to wait for marriage, total mismatch there, wouldn't pursue it, she shouldn't pursue me, I shouldn't pursue her. Uh, for a woman, a woman who's had a previous sexual encounter or who's dated men before, had sex, um, I'm going to take into account her standard for previous men. So if she's had two long-term relationships, her body counts two, and she made the, those previous two guys wait three months, before sleeping with them. I will take that into consideration. I'll make an assessment of, am I willing to wait for her? That could be the consideration there. However, typically what you find happening is women will have, you know, in college, they'll have a string of hookups, casual sex, one night stands, fuck a guy within 30 minutes. And then once they're 20, 20, 22, 23, they get older and they're like, oh, maybe I shouldn't move like that. Now they wanna make me wait three months, <laughs> 10 dates, you can do it. I respect it if you wanna wait. I don't think that's, you're a bad person if you do, but it would just be a mismatch in terms of how long I'm willing to wait and how long they want to wait. So in which case, it could be a conversation or we just wouldn't pursue the relationship essentially. Yeah. But I believe you've said before that you would only wait three days. Like, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. So, um, that's kind of why I'm confused because mm. it's like, imagine somebody did wait three months. Are you going to wait three months if that well, was I think the I standard? Just, sure, I think I just answered it. So if that was her previous, uh, that's how she moved with her previous relationships, I'd be m more inclined to wait. But knowing that that's not how you previously moved, I'd be like, well, hold on. Is this a genuine value or are you just trying to leverage sex to get something from me? Do you not genuinely desire me the same way you genuinely desired those other guys that you fucked within 30 minutes of meeting them? In which case I wouldn't be interested in her. Um, 
look, people are willing, you know, you could, uh, a woman could have slept with 100 men previously within 30 minutes of meeting them, and then guy number 100, 101, she could make that guy wait six months before sleeping with him. I think that's a raw deal for the guy, and I would instruct the man, you don't have to pursue this woman. In fact, that's a bad deal for you. Don't pursue her. It kind of makes sense, because it's like, why would you switch up 